Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were tuned into the Star Five podcast. I'm the man Eve Trainer. Of course, you can call me Trill for short. And as always, you can hit me up at Instagram at x at e underscore trillionaire. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, the Star Five podcast. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you desire. And also find us where you get uh, your podcast at Spotify and Apple. So I'm gonna kick it to my left. Need that Gatorade sponsorship. They just giving out sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Star Five podcast, your boy Jay Supreme. There is no longer no How Jordan Three on IG, but you can follow the podcast at the Starting Five Pod on IG. This is season five, episode two, week one. But we in week two, man. So hey, I don't really, wa- I don't really watch a whole lot of drama TV. But when I do, I watch the Browns. I'm gonna pass the ah! <laughs> What's good? Just though back again. Just a star five on IG and X. And yeah, I don't got much to say, man. I'm keep it to my left. Let's just get started. Fred Winter dog. That's what I gotta say. That nigga different. Oh man, you already know what it is, man. Jonathan Sickle Hardy on the book. At Super John on X and Instagram. Week one in the books, man. We're on to the Las Vegas Raiders. Love it. I love it. I stand, good, I stand with my God, man. You can catch me on IG, X, Last of a Dom Green X. You can catch me on Facebook at Dom Daniel. And uh, let's get it going, man. I think it's still in preseason right now. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Fire content only, though, man. Fire content only, though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and go like the reel and share that shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was nice. It's good steals, shots. You feel me? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we 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 gonna kick the uh the, the safe, fast break segment off. Uh, just you know news and notes around the uh, landscape of sports. Um, just a real quick couple NBA things. Um. Uh, Jamal Murray agrees to a max deal Bam. with the uh, Denver Nuggets. Uh, Four-year uh, maximum extension for 208. Um, Let me hold some. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> I think it got to be, like, they should do an incentive in that contract, like made it like $260 million if he make an all-star team. Because he ain't it's done that yet. But I'm a player, but hasn't yeah. made an All Star game yeah, yet. So we just player, we waiting, we waiting for that. Um, Jamal, player. hey, he got he did what matters the most. Man. Won a championship, indeed, and he was a very crucial part of that. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can they get back to that? I don't know. Mm. Who they pick up the off season? Did they pick up somebody? Russell Westbrook. Oh, yeah. Russell Westbrook. <laughs> hey, did they get somebody else? That's the biggest name. They lost KCP. They lost KCP. Yeah, KCP. They lost KCP. That's a big loss. Huge. Huge. They still miss uh, Jeff Green and um, Bruce Bruce Brown. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely seen that last year. Hey, go back to like season three. We discussed that. Told (laughs) 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 y'all. That's why I said when they get back, they lost three pieces in that championship run team. But, nonetheless, excuse me, Jamal Murray gets that bag. Uh, also, um, the Cavaliers had a couple of interesting signings this week. Uh, Tristan Thompson's back on the squad. And uh, JT. T-T. And JT Thor. T-T back in to the round game. out that front court. He like, played for South there. Sudan, right? Yeah. He also played for the South Hornets and people was like, well, who's that? Yeah, I like JT. I thought it was the actual Thor. I said, where's his... All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, I, I, thought, <laughs> I thought it was get, get, Tom get, get, Baker. I thought it was the... <laughs> Are you so saying JT Thor ain't as bad as Thor? He's like a ninth guy, tenth guy at the bench. Ten? Yeah, he's not like. I think more like thirteen. I mean, he, oh, shit. he's young. Like he's a. Let's I see. think it's exactly what you guys need to hear. But this, this, young this is what I will say. He, if you know, injury is as a poss- a problem this year, he might get some tick. Yeah. Because he is athletic. Yeah. I give him that. He he seemed like he better than Damian. Jones from last year who was just yeah, he might be better than Goofy. Well, he's not, yeah, he's not a center either. <laughs> right. <laughs> he a stretch 
Yeah, he's a forward. So you got a little jungle gang too. And um, I like him. The Los Angeles Lakers to uh, honor uh, Jerry West. Um, of course. Uh, of course. So a couple things. Oh, and it says the NBA expands the use of instant replay. Um, so now they can replay um, out of bounds reviews. Is that is that good for the league? It should have reviewed that when KD steps up to, to get, get the call. Oh, yeah. Anything, <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything to get the calls yeah, right. Oh my god! Get the calls right. That, that, oh, that pissed me off so and much. And stop wanting to play on the rim. I'm, I'm for that shit. <laughs> they take one step in bounds and threw that bitch in. And, and they, they didn't score. notice any. He is seven know. foot. They didn't notice his big ass feet out of bounds. Well, they, the fix, went, they went and scored. The fix they was in that night. Scores. But they noticed his little toenail on the three point line. On the three point line. line. Right? Yeah, let's not talk about toes. Come Mike Brink did that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about toes. It's the same way, right? Touchy situation. All right, um, Touchy situation so uh, uh, it's a replay revamping in the NBA, and we're just three weeks away from training camp getting started. So that makes me excited. All right, so we'll get to uh, thoughts on. Um, and so my my first thoughts on um, is just basically the, the whole play. Uh, in week one in the NFL, uh, you know, a lot of good quarterbacks were just yeah, average, average quarterbacks um, on week one. And if you guys want to go way back into the archives and listen to season one, you hear us talk about the preseason and how it's um, underutilized in today's NFL and then how the product looks week one, day one. Um, and so thought, thoughts on re re Reimagining, we don't even know you. We use some 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 Democrat shit. Reimagining the preseason. Um, and I think I said it when we talked about it before, but and you guys that have played football can attest to this. <clears throat> Let me speak up. I'm sorry. Um, you don't get better at playing football without playing Thank football. You. Facts. You can't go through training camp and basically take a month off, basically, what you're doing. Practice, net, practice. you can practice as many times as you want, supplement and all the plays and do all that shit. It, you're never going to, it's never going to have that game feel. Uh, facts. And especially with dudes leaving, you, you on a new team, so... You want to start the process week motherfucking one? New coordinators, new offense, new defense. All the pieces ain't played together in a live action. Like, what the fuck do you expect? And not only do they, is the, the, they're not practicing like, like like they probably used to. They're not even playing in the games. Yeah. So we, we got we to gotta coach come on and say, oh, well, you know, three-fourths of the offensive line is out. So we're not going to play our quarterback. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but ain't the other dudes getting paid too? And then we get the week one, and we still don't got them niggas, and you gotta play your quarterback. Now what? Now what? <laughs> and, but my thing is, um, that's what they. That's why they start doing them joint practices heavy. So they tried to supplement it, so the starters are getting like live round, live action. That's not. It's but, still control. But I'm glad you brought that up because that was all in my head. head. It, it's not a real game. Like we doing, we doing ten plays from this yard line. It's not live, and then. We bringing the ones in for for a couple plays or a series, then the twos come. That's not a real game. And then, for instance, in a in our in our uh, joint practice, when we was going against the Vikings, you got they OC telling, "Hey man, y'all got to tone it down." Like, ain't no tone it down when it's week one. Ain't no toning it down. It's cool, go. There's no crowds. Cool, cool, you go. don't get any of that energy. I don't, don't care how loud. I don't care how loud your surround sound system is. You <laughs> pumping crowd noise. That's not the same thing. Like we we gonna go ten yards <coughs> on your fifty. We gonna go ten plays on your fifty. Ten plays on our fifty, and then ten yards goal line. That's not that's not game like situation. Because it's not it's not competition. Yep. It's just practice. It's the intensity of you know making a catch. That's just different in a game than in practice. You know, like like I feel like I feel like I feel like that's for to see how a person reacts in live reps. Okay, this guy. Okay, he gonna be the first guy. He gonna be my second. And then then I want to see him in a real game. And see how he responds in a real game. Then I really know what I got. And understanding your scheme. No, it's like, for sure. It's like understanding the plays, knowing where you're supposed to be, making that mistake there, but you're not getting hit. You're not trying your hardest. You, 
you can't touch the quarterback, so what the fuck is the pass rush doing? Like, like it's just... Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, and not to mention, you're not pushing and pulling against motherfuckers trying to actually tackle you, trying to right. force you not to get on your spot. Like, all that shit comes into play. And it's like, getting out there week one and doing it, like, it's not going to be the same. People don't get paid to practice, so... And it's uh, motherfuckers <laughs> be hungry on week one. Exactly. They don't be hungry in practice. No, they they sure. need to feed their families on week one. And to Hobbs' point about the coaching oh, aspect, you coaching know. side of it, like a new OC, like take the well the Chargers won, but take them for instance. They got a whole new fucking staff, basically a whole new fucking offense, whole new team. You don't, you can't get into a flow if you ain't got your, you playing, you out there in preseason, you playing guys that's not even about to make your fucking team. No, for sure. So you you call this maybe it worked for him, but it don't work for your your main guys. You got to get into a flow in your play calling. Okay, he like this there, he like that there, he like. Okay, my quarterback like this in this situation. My quarterback like that in this situation. You're not getting that at practice. Because like you just said, it's control. So I get to make that situation up for myself. It doesn't happen in real time where I got to actually read and react and call plays based off how shit going. And, and, so. and, and this is probably the, the language out there. Okay, action. All right, cut. <laughs> uh, that's, what the, that's what they're doing. Oh, that's it. We just going through, we running, we running lines, fellas. We running lines. Basically, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what practice is. It's frustrating. That's a good point. That's and a, and yeah, not to cut you off, that's and like when thing. when you're practicing against each other, right? It's offensive session, defensive session. Niggas paint scenarios. Yes, I'm you know what I mean. They be like, that. you come here, you do this. Right. right. And you know what I mean? Try to make the play. Yeah. They be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, exactly. I got exactly. Out no, for sure. And I, I tell my scout king guy, I'm like, if y'all not getting yelled at, I'm mad at y'all. Like, go make a play. Go try. To, I don't give a fuck if Coach Ross yell at y'all. At the end of the day, you trying to get these niggas a look. Right. I'm not yeah. trying to give you oh, the perfect. You know a what I mean? Real fucking look, yeah. bro. Yeah. Exactly. He like re. Read the run and bite on the run so we can throw the post deep. Like no, that's, 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 that's why not happen like that. Right. No. The way the way I the way I understand uh, it, uh, the things are, are so especially in Cleveland. I'm not sure about what you guys teams. Why things are so so tight to the vest? Oh, I don't want to give anything out. So they when they scout us, they don't know what the fuck we doing. Well, listen, my G, you don't. First of all, you you don't make many adjustments. Your shit's not that creative as it is already. So what what is this you don't want to show? <laughs> And my thing is, if you don't get a live rep, you really don't know if it really worked for real or right. not. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll work when no, you put no, the no, defense in place. It's easy as fuck. It's easy as fuck to, man, easy as fuck to dial that shit up because you had it in the 24. <laughs> oh, by the way, he ain't out there either, so you can't give it to him. Wait for the recap. Wait for the recap. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, right. I can't. I, I don't think my question, my question might, it might be, yeah, I'm going to say mine for the All right, I got one more no, thing. I, I got, I got, hold on, hold on, I got one more thing I got to say. You got something on this, Dom? I'm sorry. Yeah, I just want to say that. Like, oh. Back to your point, talking about you don't want to show everything, right? And your shit's not creative. You didn't already showed this shit last year. You showed it. it. So what the fucking difference is it gonna make? This no. new wrinkle you about to come out with, you probably didn't already did it because you made an adjustment in the second half of a game because they put you in that situation. So what is you hiding? Nothing. No, like, nothing at all. Bro, don't fuck out of here. It's only script like. The first time, yeah, yeah, the first, 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 first series. So everything is off the cuff, anyways. It's off like, adjustments on how yeah. you see the defense play in certain situations. I'm not gonna show my first 15 plays. So, <laughs> so, so hold on, let me let me say one more thing okay, about preseason right. shit, right? You gotta when a game versus practice, the adrenaline is different. Yeah. Like when I seen. Deshaun Watson overshooting the ball and things like that. That's adrenaline. Mm -hmm. So if you're not used to playing with adrenaline, you're going to see shit like that. Ball getting overshot, ball off the market, shit like that. Like, you got to compensate for that. You need a live game rep. Right. Especially when... Like, what? what before, I, before I get off that point, what's the difference between playing against the Dallas Cowboys in week one and just a week and a half ago playing in the last preseason game? There's no difference. It's and at the end of the day, niggas is going to get hurt. It's football. People going to get hurt. Like, if your ultimate goal was to get the week one healthy, I get that. But now you now you get the week one healthy, and then you're ill-prepared. That's like, well, what if you got hurt in week one, then, then you not playing the preseason anyway, all for fucking all for Right. That's like if you go you spend 1.4 <laughs> on a, on a shiny-ass Bugatti, and you don't drive it. You just put it in your living room as a. Sh this is my showroom right here. This is my car. I ain't gonna never drive the motherfucker, but I got one. 
Rich then you that. got these players. Rich niggas do that. That's and they just sitting on the shelf. That, that, that's the that's the correlation. The fucking money. If GMs need to keep their jobs. They lose their jobs and their quarterback he's getting hurt. So you know what? You're not gonna play the preseason. The coach, you better not play him in the preseason. And that's Otherwise why you're gonna find a new coach. That's Wait, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a revolving circle. It's, 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 so I wanted want. to. I, and I, I I probably should start the fast break off segment. But the thoughts on um and and trust me, I don't um. A lot of times I don't read into a lot of this stuff, so I, I didn't really dive into the Ty Tyreek Hill uh, traffic stop and, and everything that came with that. Uh, and so, you, um, you know, it's you, you definitely going to hear the race car constantly, and if this person was president, this wouldn't happen, and you know all the all the political rhetoric that comes behind this. Um, and so, president ain't nothing because this was happening before, right. you know, all that occurred anyhow. So I mean, just just thoughts on like I mean, is this, is this really even a thoughts on segment type of question? Because we know we already know what's going on in America. Yes, yeah. and, and it ain't even got to be Tyreek Hill. It could have been, um, I don't know, Joe Burrow. Shit, a, a golfer just recently got hemmed up by Paul Paul while he was going to an event. So nobody's exempt from this, America. It's not just because of the color of your skin that this shit happens. I mean, that plays a part though. Not trying to make it rage, but that 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 is a it's an undertone to it. Sure it is, sure it is. is. But so. at the end of the day, it happens. So I mean, I'm not about to get bit out of shape because he went to work and played, had a hell of a game, and still made a couple hundred thousand dollars that day. So what do I give a fuck for? I I just feel like that it was over excessive, and you went on an ego trip. You just get that nigga his motherfucking speeding ticket and, and go keep it moving. Day. That's all you had to do. You went on the ego trip, and your buddy, your buddy was waiting for you to light his his motherfucking yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, motherfucker, get off the yeah, get the fuck out, bro. What? Chill the fuck out, bro. Over a traffic violation, it's not. Bro, it's a speeding ticket. And, and, it and you like got my license and shit already. Go run my shit, get my ticket, so I can go to the game. <laughs> get me the fuck out of here, bro. What are we doing? Wait, that's, what are my, you? that's my thing. Look, so I was talking to one of my homies, right, and he was. He wasn't necessarily on the side of police, but he was saying like, like he this, he could have he like him. First of all, the, the the nigga banged on his window, and Tariq was like, "Bro, don't bang on my window." And I feel like that's what hyped the cop up. But he it's was, like he yeah he was insti like not instigating, but he was being difficult. But as a cop, you have like a response to, like you're supposed to be able to control your emotions in any situation. Then they never do. They, they always never do. And like I said, they have all the power. Not to cut you, they have right. all the power. So whether you escalated or de, de escalated, it's really on you to do that shit. And the cops, oh, when it comes to us, they always escalate the shit. But he oh, went on, like I said, he went on the ego trip. Yeah. Oh, that's Tyreek Hill. Be a diff I'm about to show my ass because you showing yours, yeah. and I'm about to show you I'm I, I'm the law. Right. And that's what he did. That's what it is. Oh, like, sure. Tyreek was being you know, he like, was. Kind of an asshole, but he was, but as an excuse. <laughs> but, but you got I, my license. I, 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 but my see, like you were saying, he gave him the license. I feel like you got what you need, bro. Go he do your job. Go on your place. You eat. But you it's not now. now you feel away because I'm like, bro, don't like this is my property. Like, don't can you not knock? On, he could have been like, can you not knock on my window like that? I guess like the way he said it, he got offended. Like, what you mean? Don't knock on my window like that. Like. But it's and, like bread. No, I might be wrong, but I feel like also cops get really annoyed. Like, cause what he was going like on it in the thirty-five. Is that what, I read that? Oh, I didn't really I see didn't how fast. I see how fast he's going by. Cop, I know your speed. I think it was something like that. If that's true, they all they always get out the car riled up for that kind of shit. Like they'd be ready to take a motherfucker to jail for that type of shit. But that's not that's not something you can take someone to jail for. I know, but. His energy was there. Tyree, I'm not excusing him. No, no, no. For sure. But I want to. I want to get in that side of it, though. I do yeah, want to get into I that want, side. I fully believe that once you're in the position of power, it's on you. All the all the responsibilities on you. Yeah. He could be an asshole. He could call your mom a name. Whatever. You're supposed to maintain composure because that is your responsibility to the public. And you're supposed to do what's right by everybody, no matter who says what to you, because they have that right to say whatever they want to you, and you have to uphold the law. So he did. He took it too far, but and, and to get on the podium and say you're scared to be around, like you, you kind of, you kind of like riling people up. Like that. That's not right either. 
But I don't look, I don't think he went too far for it to re warrant the response. But we gotta yeah. we gotta understand cops operate in ego. They be going on ego. They're humans. Way too much. So they're humans. I, but I get like you 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 speeding or whatever. You in a rush. You got a game and shit like that. This is an inconvenience to you. But now the ball is in their court because you were speeding. So this is what I would say to you. He wasn't really in a rush. Well, I don't know. But well, at the end of the day, they said Calais Campbell was on ESPN. He said it was like around. 10:20. Yeah, that's why I, it wasn't nothing yeah, no, crazy. Until one o'clock. Okay, but that's what I'm thinking at too. Certain time. Yeah, no, no, for sure. No, for but sure. you, <clears throat> but that's what three hours before the game. You were, you there plenty of time. He was just <coughs> bro. Look at the car he was driving. Yeah, no, sure. we know what he was doing. No, for, for sure. sure. But, but look, I look. For like, a, Go ahead. Both, both parties could have handled this. They could have handled the situation. Way more mature than they than they actually did. Tyree didn't have to. He didn't have to provoke him like that. Knowing how cops easily be on the power trip, and the cop, of course, he took it too far. Cause once you, he just he was looking for a reason in the first place. Mm -hmm. Once you gave him your license registration, go check and make sure it's okay. That's your job. Anyway. And bring, That's what you and bring me the anyway. ticket. Bring bring him his ticket back. Being on your being on your way. Like it's just that simple. But of course, they wanted to make a big deal out of our situation. You ain't got to roll your window down that much. Hit him right here so you can you Exactly. Can but the thing is, he rolled it all the way down, handed the information, then rolled it back up. But I feel like the cop felt like he was ordering him around because he like, he, he rolled that bitch back up before he rolled it up. He was saying, look, just just go bring me my ticket, bro. Like, and then they got salty because the window was rolled up and shit. It's like, bro, you got the information. Go write the ticket so lot, we can go on our way. There was a lot of ego on display. Mm -hmm. Both but sides. Both sides. but what I, what I will say to young because I had to, I ain't really get to talk to my kids about this but we 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 put it in our group chat we ain't really touch on it too much but what I will say is I heard Cam say this he like when you are dealing with them people you gotta kill them with kindness yes. I know sometimes we feel away it's it's something mental trauma that goes on when we gotta deal with the cops so ain't no telling what type of day you are gonna have how you are gonna act in response but you gotta know that you gotta be cool calm and collective. You know what I mean? And don't try to provoke them at the end of the day. But, number one, just don't speed and you won't get pulled over. That's num that's the number one thing, the way you can avoid it. Right. Don't speed and you won't don't be pulled over. You ain't, don't even right. give a reason to, you know what I mean, deal with them like that. That's and then, when you do run into them, you just got to handle it a little bit cooler and calmer. Because you know, any little small thing, they going to want to turn up. They want to take you out of the car and all that other shit. For the for the smallest little things. So well, if you when if you if you if you break said law, like oh shit, I, I was one eighty five and this fifty five. That's reckless driving. All right. So I mean, I just I just already know if I'm guilty. Like the fuck, I I'll speed. I will just pull over, shut the fuck up, and make this ordeal end in the ten minutes that it needs to be. Because so you, you're not, I'm not about to be dragged out the car. I'm not about to be put in handcuffs. For no traffic shit. Like like freak like Freaky Shay said, uh I'm trying to get him to <laughs> my car back to his car. Shannon Sharp. <laughs> and give me my ticket. We're talking about that later. And as least time possible. Yeah. That's all we trying to do. And if he's wrong, go fight it. Go to court. You go can't court. yeah, my dad always said that you're not gonna win. You're yeah. not gonna win right there. Never win that Never gonna win right there. Never win that battle. So go to court. You know, white like be, he wrong. you know, white people be all right. Okay, I'm, wait till I call my lawyer. <laughs> That's how they be on that type of time. So we got to be winning that there, shit. <laughs> I didn't know exactly I didn't, what to say. I didn't see. Um, I didn't see Ben Crump come out. Wait till I tell the Jewish community for, about this. For his <laughs> own for his his own. ordeal. Is that his representation of Ben Crump for this ordeal? Who? Oh, Tyree. Tyree's it. No, his, uh, his agent is Drew Rowe. Oh, he ain't getting beat. That's not his. Drew Rose, that's his, that's his agent. I'm talking about his, the lawyer. No, oh, Drew got them connections, though. So I'm know, sure he going to get the Because you, know, you know, when there's police brutality and he kind of, you know, Ben Crump's a Johnny on the spot. He called his agent. Okay. And then when the cop tried to sit him down and all that shit was like. Maybe Ben on That's what I was like, bro. Talk to Ben Crump. Ain't no telling, you know. You're be killing, you be killing the game with, with this <laughs> race bait. But well, the biggest thing that's tricking me is being put out the car for for that. That's too much. Like, come on, bro. You, you know what? About you? <laughs> what? Yeah, like that's just. Put your hands behind your back. But that's how these niggas is trained, bro. It's, it's a system problem more than any, in, in, more than the individual. So.
But the, the biggest thing we gotta hold when that type of shit happens, we gotta hold them accountable. We gotta put pressure on them motherfuckers. That's the only way that shit gonna change. I agree. I agree. Um, that's gonna take a whole And he got the resources to do that, and the, the people, the Dolphins organization, his his agent. You know what I mean? It's on them to, to apply that pressure. You know, I'm making an example out of motherfuckers for doing. Then they arri- uh, arrest the, the gentle giant Calais Campbell. Like yeah. that's made it worse. But that that celebration was fire, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit was he gave me 30 points of fantasy. I didn't lose by 110. I lost by 80. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. First round pick. First yeah. All right, so what are you, we guys, uh, and I know we'll probably get to this a little more in depth when we do a recap, but like, what are, what are your thoughts on um, a lot of the quarterbacks struggling in week one? And this kind of like, you know, goes back into the, the, uh, the, the preseason conversation. Oh, but um, again, with, with the most important position in all the sports, obviously playing time is critical, uh, even for the best of them. And we didn't see a whole lot of that on Sunday. I mean, for me, like in the micro, defense is always going to be ahead of offense early on. Like, it's always like that. Like, defense is always going to look better than offense because it takes time for offense to click in chemistry-wise. And then on a bigger scale is, I just feel like defense is catching up to offense. You know what I mean? Like, that whole high flying, all this passing, niggas throwing 500 yards and shit like that. Defensive coordinators are adjusting to that. Not just scheme wise, but personnel wise too, to be able to match up with that. So that's what I think it is. I mean, if we're comparing it to this past era, it's kind of like, you know, we got some some of the goats that we just witnessed and now we're coming out of that era to a new new group. So it's going to look different, you know. Yeah. You don't get that too many times, you know, like. He had some studs. Also, um, we should. Tua had the most passing yards. Yeah. Also, this like um, I believe oh, he did. Yeah, he did. I think he had like three thirty. Got some flash. Guys are getting paid for being mid. Yeah. Oh no. So it's like we have these high expectations, and it's like none of these guys have ever. None of them proved it. No. None no. of them proved it. So they don't play in the preseason. They have no cohesiveness. Be smart. And they have no <laughs> they have no hunger because they're getting the max deal for being the top twenty quarterback in the league. Like, Y'all listen to Justin. That's what it looks like. But even when you look at the top guys who have earned that didn't play very well. Well, either. yeah, yeah. But it's like so across the board to have like one three hundred yeah. yard passer or something like that. Like that's insane. Yeah, one three hundred. Pat threw for like two ninety. I think they had like they, I think they had like maybe eight or ten over two hundred. L Jack and then everybody else was, like that's weird. But everybody else is like one fifty, one sixty. But what's say, interesting with that though, um, you know, I was listening to some stat. Like I think the average did Josh got over two, didn't he? Yard, yards per game. Yeah. Well, last year was like only like two sixty five, two seventy around across the entire league. Two sixty five was the average per game. Yeah. So like I mean no I mean so that's why I understand when people get so upset. Well, he didn't throw for 400 yards. Well, who, no one's throwing for 400 yards no more. And then you got to think about the new offenses and shit. Everything mm-hmm. is get him the ball now, get him the ball now. It's not really short, sure, right? Everything's behind the line. Yeah. yeah. But this is, I guess, this, this might be a good year for the running backs to, to make their case. Yeah, to state their claims That's in the game point. again. And all That's for sure. I just they are they relying heavy on them guys. Now. That's so the conversations. Like, this, this shit is, I mean, it's, all, it's definitely all, most of it is preseason. I mean, some niggas got a, just got that reputation of being ass week one, two, maybe three. And, I mean, most of them, I mean, guys don't want to play their guys in the preseason, man. So, they feel they're getting all these reps on practice, and that shit not, it's not, it's not game it's not work. It's not the same, man. It's not game work. It all goes back to the yeah, man. That's your ass out there, Sam. That's your long time again. I mean, notice, notice how... The one team that's winning the Super Bowl every year, they're playing in the preseason. Every year. Every year. Andy Reid don't play that shit. Them niggas play. Every oh, year. Right. And they always hit the ground running every single year. And just like John said, you, we claim it's a copycat league, but niggas like to do their own thing and wonder why they keep winning all the time. Now, niggas they copy, copy the wrong shit. That's how they copy the wrong shit. They copy the wrong shit. Um, go, go, go <laughs> back. Copying intros to the games and shit. <laughs> go back into the archives. You'll, you'll hear that statement and much more. Yeah. This, these things have already been stated, folks. Facts. It's coming to fruition. Big facts. And, 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 and it wasn't it. as glaring maybe in seasons one and two and three. It's, it's even more glaring now that, you know, taking the preseason for granted is a pile of horse shit. 
offensive line play too. None of them quarterbacks had time. <laughs> like, That's what we're saying. Nobody, 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 nobody out there had like, you know, four seconds. To you <laughs> have to die. Die. Them five it. niggas have to be on a string. Some, some, some had some had, play. Yeah. Some had enough time. Them five niggas very few, be on a string. Very few had enough time. Very few. Yeah, that was generalizing. Some niggas just it's constantly looking at the rush. Derek Carr had time, time, but he was playing the, the Panthers. Oh, so my man. God. Did he... He had time to read a book, man. get some tea, write a novel. <laughs> he threw it across his body in the air, in the end zone, and not like one defender was in the end. Did you see the touchdown was to your like boy G? The, the first one? Yeah. The nigga tripped for 15 yards, yards, still caught it, and got in the end zone. I said, yeah, it's about to be a long year for these things. That's when I text you. I was like, yeah, I'm never picking these things. <laughs> I, think. I was just trying to do something different. Yeah. But this nigga literally stumbled for 15 yards yes. before he caught the ball. Yeah. yeah. And flipped in the end zone. <laughs> what? That was definitely my worst. Now that's crazy. Reason, for sure. I was like, oh, oh yeah, this crazy. is curtains. <laughs> All right, you boys got thoughts on one. Well, I mean, we must just have talked about the thoughts on that. I pretty much have this preseason and how I just feel like it's underrated now, man. The NFL is so worried about money, so worried about, worried about their – Probably quarterbacks being hurt and they're messing up the, the fundamentals of the game. I, I was going to use you, you use a plural, you added an S. I was going to just use a singular and say quarterback. Their prize quarterback in the NFL. But I digress. <laughs> no, it's plural. It's definitely plural. It's only really about one. No, don't, don't get me started. It's, it's, it's only really about one. That's on? It's only about one. What? Cowboys? Oh, yeah. I like thoughts on. Um, my thoughts on uh topic is um Dak got paid with an hour before the game. Mm-hmm. I would two, I would have picked them. <laughs> I would have picked the Cowboys if he got paid. That's two hundred and forty <laughs> million dollar extension, mm-hmm. two thirty one to be petty, you know, had to be Deshaun. To be the highest paid quarter player yeah. in NFL history. Four years, eh? Four years. Sixty M's a year. Not, I, I didn't see championship appearance, bro. This is insane to me. So what are you, what what are y'all thoughts on? Well, Jerry folded. So he was talking that, again. He was talking that big shit again. Like, that Two he times. He's folded things. twice. He paid all the mm-hmm. He paid that twice. He's folded twice against that. I think the uh, the 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 the, the, uh, the second option became clear. Like, yeah, we don't have anything. As talented as that Prescott, so we'll yeah. re-sign him. I think they were no man's land. Not excited about nothing in the draft. No. Don't plan on being shitty enough no. to get anything in the draft. I mean, and then you know, to be honest, I mean, I know he won't see. He won't it's, it's still still to win to, to win playoff games and to get into NFC championships and compete and win Super Bowls. It's still it's still a collective. Now he's been trash, no question. But you know, um, so it's the defense on the other side too. They haven't been making plays either. So it takes two to tango. So somebody was gonna get paid. I said same oh, shit okay. last year when when when, we, when they was gonna pay Lamar. Somebody gonna pay him, and they just did. Okay, so and to your yes, last year the defense was abysmal. But what about when we hold a team to nineteen points, and you can only get me sixteen in our building? It's trash against Jimmy Garoppolo. Is that when he the, ran the, the game yes. plan? Yeah, that, was, yeah. 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 that was embarrassing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. That's how you going out. I just think that you know when they when they when they use this word elite, they spread it around too fucking much. way too fucking much. They be spreading that. It's just so it's you know the word elite is not you know strawberry jam. You just can't put that shit on everything. <laughs> or you can put strawberry on biscuits, you can put it on toast, you can put it on a croissant, you can put it on anything. <laughs> that, that, that's like caviar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only put that shit on a few things, you know, on a cracker or something. Fuck, fuck you can't the, just put that shit on any and everything. Fuck the great poop. I need some strawberry jam. See, I'm just playing. But no, but uh, yeah, I mean, you just can't, you, you can't spread the word at least. That Prescott is a very good NFL quarterback. But at some point, bro, like, I think you pay them to find out if they can be elite. That's what that's obviously what we gotta be. You can't pay them twice. Ahead, you can't pay them twice to find that out. That, I mean that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But that but when you when you commit to someone like that, you break in records financially, you handcuff yourself everywhere else. So it's like he has to get it done now. They gotta go pay Micah next year. They just pay C D. 
They just paid Dak. They got to figure out how to pay Mike next year. Trey Diggs is coming up. And yeah, in the other corner, too. And corners ain't cheap. Right. Demarcus Lawrence is going to start hitting them. You know, he's still good, but he's 30 plus. So he's going to have him 20 year, you know, two year contracts, stuff like that. You got to pay him. Deron Bland, he's injured. He's going to be coming up soon. Like, they're going to be handcuffed. That's why they got to drive well. Which they do. And this is, this is to my point. He, at what point we going to realize that Dak has been blessed. Since day one. Since, since day, day one. fucking one. You had the one. best offensive line, maybe arguably in history, in and, front of you. And Zeke, straight out of Zeke State. going for 1,500 whenever he whenever he thought about it. You had Coop in his prom. Then they went to get CD Land. Like, he still never had, he never, he never went without. Had Dez when he first came in. He never went without, ever. And your defense was top-notch. Except for that, they had a little lull for a little bit, but... But, but he, he's but had. He wasn't. You wasn't make up for that offensively. He he's had an abundance of talent around him, and like you he's said, never been without. And like you said, no uh, NFC Championship appearances. He was drafted in what the fourth round. He was drafted there for a reason, man. Uh, they pay these quarterbacks to find out they can be elite. But my, but look, this year nine. Hold on, but look, like, this year nine. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, Dom. I don't know how I feel about that because. I don't think that has anything to do with it. That's year nine. It's year nine. He dropped in the I mean, it wasn't like a lot of people saw first round talent on him. No, I know sometimes we overlook a lot of great he, players. No, he fell for he fell for off the field reasons. But still he got dropped in the fourth. So like, let's not forget he had Mississippi State number one ranked team in the nation when he was there. That's true. That is true. But still though, how many people around the league was actually saying how good Dak Prescott is? And he outplayed his rookie contract. Nobody sure. saw him being that good. So it's like, next thing you know, he come expectations. And then he, then he definitely didn't live up to him. So it's like, how good was he really? Like, he's just not great. He's just a good quarterback. He's just not great. He's fucking we got to stop. And this is, why, this is I'm going to stand on this soapbox to the day I die. We have to stop folding just because he's next. Yeah. He gets the top but money, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Dak is good. Give him good money. Yeah, facts. Not reset the market money. Yeah, they just history or, breaking money. Or if you are going to do that, at least be like a shitty franchise. You know, they need to get fucking 10, 12 wins. They need to get some fans in the stands. Like, make the make it worthwhile. You're the fucking Dallas Cowboys. Like, you, you're going to sell out regardless. Right. Like, come on. I just think they need to do they need to capitalize. I mean, you were selling out when Quincy Carter was your quarterback. And, so and do let's, let's, what the NBA did. You got to be Jerry Jones, the owner. That, that he got to worry about getting fired. <laughs> like, you got to have that, that level. You got to have that threshold. You know, so this is only like we know with the new CBA with the NBA, the best player or, you know, gets up to 35% of the salary cap. They're going to have to put some kind of number on that shit well, or these, got these contracts are going to continue to get out of control. They got to. And, and they're not going to get the production following it. What I will say is shout no, out. I don't count nobody's what I, money. What I will say is shout out to these motherfuckers' agents, man. Y'all doing y'all yes. fucking thing, bro. It's easy. Y'all doing y'all thing. Whoever, whoever pioneered this, who's next shit? <laughs> <laughs> I should have been they on. Need that. a percentage of every contract. <laughs> that shit is. Yeah, because this shit, I don't. I, I I can't recollect. Uh, can't even say the word right now. But I can't remember. I'm gonna just say remember when this shit started. But. To my knowledge, back in the day when I was growing up. The, only the big dogs got money like this. Oh, for sure. Facts. I don't know who started. Who got that bread? Sam Bradford. Then, no, then, then they start. They start. The pink you might be, like, you you might be right, guys. That might be. Might be, 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 might be, 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 be but listen to the name you just said. That's what I'm saying. Paid money. That was like. Didn't he get like a hundred million? Like a rookie? He was. He got the last year rookie deal. He got the last big like eighty or seventy. It was something like that. I think it was like seventy million guaranteed when he came. When he was coming out of school. And then Cam, they, they, they the next year Cam that. came in and Cam got like twenty. Because they canned it after that. Yeah, yeah, I know he was the last one to get. Because he got hurt. <laughs> so so the owners was like, that's when oh, yeah, they made the rookie scale owners was like, yeah, this shit is over with. So they, they should have learned then. When they, remember they gave um, what's, what's my man name that was right by the Rams top draft pick? That's what we're talking about, Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford, yeah, he yeah. stole a fifty-eight million dollars guarantee, fifty-four million dollars guarantee. It was. It was high. It was. I think it was like seventy-three. I think it was like seventy-three or something like that. Seventy-eight. I think. I forgot that's my good. And he wasn't shite. 
he got hurt, and that's when we were just talking about he got hurt, and the owners was like, yeah, forget this, because years prior, Jamarcus Russell, you had niggas just yeah. fucking it off. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Speaking so. of Dak, he all smiles talking to Trey Aiken right now with that new bag. Uh, and, I, and again, like I said, I don't know who we was talking about. We was talking about money, and I was uh, we was talking about somebody. And like I 70, said, 78, 50 78. guaranteed, 78 total, six years. Sheesh. And like, and like I was saying, I, like <laughs> right. I said, I forgot who we was talking about. Niggas still chasing that type of money. <laughs> but I hate when niggas go to that podium and then say it wasn't about the money. Ooh, the then what the fuck was this about? Dad, don't go up here and tell me it wasn't about the money. Bitch, you're making 60 M's a year. Shut the fuck up. It's about the money. Because if it wasn't about the money, you wouldn't have took that. You would have took right. what they offered you the first time. Yep. He heard what Dion said. <laughs> Must be the money. So what the fuck are you talking about? Don't come up here and spit in my face talking about, yeah, it wasn't about the money. We're just going to focus on it. Bitch, fuck you. Nobody mm -hmm. want to hear that PC shit. The, the, the fake copycat league. The, the quarterbacks that win take pay cuts. Facts. They're not the highest paid quarterback at all. Facts. Copying the wrong shit. Exactly. But you know you ass, so you gotta get your bag while you can. All right. Um, and I, like, I don't want to throw stones. I know my team offensively played horribly, but Dak did not have a good game. He didn't. He, he but, didn't need but to. Get, yeah, no, he didn't need to, obviously, but still. You just you the highest player you the highest pay in the league. Paying for me, man. And you just uh, imagine right before the game, nigga, you got the most money you ever. Nigga, I'm I'm on T. I'm T. I'm about to go fucking crazy. That was not the case. That was not the case. And I thought it. I thought I thought that was gonna turn niggas up because he was a little turn pregame, but I'm like, nah, he's, that's still the same day. We just look terrible. Mm. All right, so we'll uh, get into some. Uh, Say that for one you. recap. Take it away, Joe. Oh, fucking hell, man. Let me go first. Uh, all right, I'm going to run through the scores. Elephant in the room. Uh, um, we, can, we, can, we can comment as we go along where you feel fit, feel the. Okay, so like, like when we pick the games, I'll do all our games last. <coughs> Run through the other games first. Friday night, Eagles on top of the Packers. Buddy banger. Love got nicked up. That was a banger. 34-29. That field, though. Oh with Chiefs. Um, so, thumbs up, thumbs down uh, with these international games. I mean, if you're going to book international game, get a good venue. Please. I, I like, I like on, the idea. Yeah, but the execution's they, bad. Yeah, like, like you got to get a better venue, bro. That's, I think that's fun. That's, that's embarrassing. They played at the Olympic Stadium or something like that? Look like it should. Bro, this is the NFL. Y'all got all the money in the world. But y'all man's got that's a new facility though, technically. But didn't they play on like a soccer field? Or yeah, or yeah. or that's the problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, them soccer players light. They, you know, they guys they light on their feet. Yeah, it's, it's not it's three hundred pound, no, you know, driving yeah, into the ground. Just, just brutes and shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Bad. No, 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 but that was a great They could lay some turf down or something. Like, y'all got the money to do that shit weeks prior or something. Nigga, do something. Maybe, Come maybe on. Rogers you know about this game last season. You gotta do better than that. Maybe yeah. Rogers should have, you, you, you know, uh, afforded most of his salary. I mean, he gets $62 million a fucking year. I mean, he could have paid for that. Maybe. Easily. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's, that's, he said, that game close to me. Bad job out of you, Rogers. Yeah, that too close to me. You don't know to do with all that money. I gotta re up. Hit us up, Rog. Um, I got plans. <laughs> Vikings going to the Meadowlands and kick the shit out the Giants, twenty-eight to six. Ass, oh, slinging Sammy. I told you about slinging Sammy. Nobody saw that coming. I did. Slinging Sammy. <laughs> Fucking Daniel Jones, bro. <laughs> uh, the Bears squeak out a, a improbable win by scoring no offensive touchdowns and winning twenty-four to seventeen. I told you I like that defense. It was down. down. Very defense. Like, I like yeah. that defense. Spoke on my parlay. Um, Very deep is nice. Oh, Remember I said QEB. Uh, you want you want to do your Saints go marching in? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Saints kick the dog shit right. out the Panthers, forty-seven to ten. Pray for Bryce Young, y'all. Pray for Bryce Rares Young. Bears going up top. Um, the Steelers do the Steelers thing and Somehow win. Get a fucking win, right? Eighteen to well, ten in Atlanta. All field goals. 
Chelsea just so how you feel good? Uh, uh, we've won a game. I, 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 I can't, can't, when I was watching the game, that shit kept going to my head. No, I'm saying. Motherfuckers is fine. I feel good. I watch though. Like, that's their thing. They find a way to win the fucking game. You can't stand it. They go get in the podium and be like, Talk to me about the starting quarterback on Tuesday. <laughs> like, damn. They like, chest all puffed out and stuff. They, um, they in shambles and still with it. <laughs> Dolphins. For Dolphins. It's been retired, bro. They've been. After the controversy before the game, uh, come back and beat the Jags 20 to 17. That's it. Um, Texans and Colts have a great game, per usual. Texans pull it out 29 to 27. Hey, Rich. Both y'all, man. Cannon. 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 He's Cannon. 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 Nature, bro. Cannon. I like man. that team, man. Slip, back foot, 60 yards. <laughs> Nigga, on the dot. On the dot, on a dot though. You gotta remember, on the dot part. That's Nigga, two, two, double cover, way. technically. Then they can throw a fadeaway do you, bomb. Do you That's think the Colts and the Texans took the preseason series? It looked like it. I like the Colts culture, man. I ain't gonna lie. They played all preseason. No, looks looks like you picked it. Pick in one division, did you? Yeah, I, 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 I thought that was a good pick. I like that. Um, that, was good ass, that was a good ass game. Yeah, one hardball gets a win this weekend um, in his debut. 22 to 10 over the Raiders. I told you. Um, I didn't think they were ready. Broncos lose to the Seahawks. <coughs> oh, Nick. 26 to 20. Um. I like the Baconeers. The Baconeers, <laughs> right. Get, get active <laughs> against the Commanders. Both TVs. 37 to 20. And Sunday night, we had a too, great game. Overtime game. 26 to 20, won by that was Detroit's finest. That was a really I'm starting game. to love that right <laughs> too. That right, I love that. Them bangers, bro. That's, that's a good game. Awesome. I, like I like that game. And uh, to our games. I'll go first. Thursday night season opener. We lose by a uh, fucking big toe. Mm. That was Zay. He would have been good money. That was Zay for <laughs> Cleet. <laughs> he he on the he got, was it the play before? He got KD. Yeah. <laughs> but he said he wasn't even throwing in the wall. He got KD. Um, we lose to the defending world champions 27 to 20. Now, I will say, a loss is a loss, but I'd rather lose like that than that shit show that I saw. I, yeah, of course. I don't know. I feel like when I was watching the game and I wasn't looking at the score, it really didn't feel like like they should have lost that game. We outgamed them by 100 yards. It didn't, like, I was watching, I was like, wow, yeah, they We possessed the ball right more now? than them. It was just. We know how Kansas City went. Yeah, but I just kept, like, <laughs> not looking at the score, and then I looked down at the score, and they were down. I'm like, nah, that makes no sense. Early turnover. We only have one. Which is a bad one. I really don't call that. A t yeah, it's a turnover technique, yeah, but I, I don't count that as a turnover. But like, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but um, I mean, defensive coaches count as a turn. It's not a takeaway though, but we do count this. I um, I'll, I'll address the first turnover. Um, I don't understand. I don't know. If <coughs> Pat got hurt, or what the fuck happened. But we put our rookie right tackle in from Washington, and if you go watch the national championship game, you'll understand why. I don't understand why the fuck he was in. <laughs> talking about Rosengarten. Roger Rosengarten. I, I still, I'm still wondering why the fuck he was in, John <laughs> Harbaugh. I would still That's like funny. an answer to that motherfucking question That's while we put our funny. rookie right tackle in against arguably the best defensive lineman in the fucking world and left him one on fucking one. When you watch the tape... From the game, his last fucking game, and he was getting fucking abused. So I would like an answer to that question. Well, you know, week one is like still preseason, so he wanted to, you know, There's get a look at us. <laughs> get a good look. And, and I'll, once I get further into my Stop. recap, and I'll, I'll understand why, I don't know what the fuck was going on with our blocking scheme at, at times. You know, Olam. But I, I want to address Dom's other, t um, the other turnover, the fourth down. Why are we running a speed play to the short side of the I never fucking understand that, bro. Feet. I never understand that on any level. I never understand that shit. Why in the fuck are we running a speed play 
to the short end of the field. We got arguably the quickest nigga in the league. I like the play call. Nelson, you could have, you could have came, you could have made that a little sharper on your, you on your, Ohio on your pick. You got on Ohio on that shit. <coughs> got to. I thought he should have blocked the corner. He was, he was supposed to come. It, it was supposed to be a natural like pick. He was the corner was supposed to come with him. And he did. The corner made a great play. He did. He for sure did. The corner made a great play. But my point is, if if that were to happen on the wide side. Zay has more room to make him miss. We run that to the short side. Now it's the sideline him, and then I'm stuck in a fucking box. You in a phone in a phone booth trying to make some shit happen. So if we gonna run that play, run it to the wide side where he has more wiggle room over here. Makes sense. <laughs> but back to my point about our blocking scheme. Yes, Lamar missed those two plays before on the passes. But if you go deeper and you get your all 22 and you pull it out. <clears throat> Shout out to all 22. Man. If you look behind, again, somebody in Kansas City's prior game made the same mistake. Why are y'all leaving number 95 unfucking blocked He's the best defender on the team. Why is this nigga not getting two every play? That's what I be seeing on my TV when I play Madden. Like, they be doing that bullshit on Madden all the time. <laughs> you think I Pop, could you explain to me how our 5'9", 185 fucking tailback is blocking the best D lineman in the game <laughs> for two straight plays? Makes no sense. One on one. He's not chipping him. That's the scheme to have our fucking 5'9", 185 pound running back blocking the best defensive lineman two plays in a row. It's too much confidence. For the game. The game is on the line. Why is this happening? I don't get it. Can someone explain that to me? I don't get it. Makes no sense. Who, who, who schemed this up? Madden OCs. That's all I see. Right? And you know what? You, I, I forgot. Rest in peace, our old line coach did die this summer. I'm we need a new one. Cause obviously he knew what the fuck he was doing and the guy that's replacing him doesn't. Cause there's no fucking way I'm leaving my running back on Chris Jones. Makes no sense, bro. Now my quarterback gotta run for the for his fucking life with the game on his line. On the line. I thought the scheme was like Based around, you know, you're supposed to base it around that guy, and then everyone else gets the, you know, the leftover. So you're supposed to make sure he is, he's touched. Why are we doubling George Kolopoulos? He's who? He is not. <laughs> he's, solid, he's a solid player. I'm not going to discredit him. The Purdue product? Yeah. Huh? Got to make sure he's. What are we? What are we doing? What the fuck was that? Yeah. Well, you know, this is definitely a winnable game for y'all. Second time, it was a winnable game. <laughs> it didn't work hey, out. finish up. <laughs> um, Bills <clears throat> squeak out one also, thirty-four to twenty-eight over the Arizona Cardinals. Miles Rogers had two catches. Man, he was wide one. open, bro. One for four yards. So you say he didn't have to catch. Well, he had one he catch for four yards. One point four, 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 four fantasy points. If you if you're playing. Uh, Points per possession or reception. It's only week one. They can get him the ball, bro. What Clearly. are we doing? I mean, that makes no sense. I've been doing design plays. No and Kyle, Kyler Murray. Oh, I was about to just ask that. Please. please I please. fuck with you, big dog. And I believe in you. I, I I heard your speech before the year. You got some shit to prove. You know, you, you was on your shit. You was talking your big one. Hey, big dog, you are responsible for getting him the ball. That's your job. You're literally, that is your literal job description is to get that nigga the football. What? And look, with the game on the line, the nigga is running <laughs> wide open. When you get paid, like, what the, where are you looking at? I think Man. you're supposed to be like, I, this is my team. Like, I know the OC, I'm supposed to make this right here, but we got to make some fucking plays. That's my Y'all picked him that's number four for a reason. Right, that's the I fourth mean, pick somebody, over there. Well, somebody, Tell Kyle he's you not. didn't pick him number four to get you four That's yards, what nigga. So like, he's, what are we not, doing? he's not a Plymouth Duster. He's the Maserati. I him the ball. What you think, though, man? What if defense schemed him up, man? Man. Nigga, he was open. <laughs> schemed up. I'm not even talking play. about that play. For I'm that talking play. about the whole, whole entirety of the game. 
You mean to tell me he that nigga he, he just get one reception? Not a plate of duster. Last time I checked, Derrick Revis <laughs> wasn't on the field. But th this is your this is your team, Don. You go ahead. I mean, shit. I, was, I say defense. They uh they got the stops when they needed to, man. They they definitely helped the offense out. But, uh, early in the game, they couldn't stop them. Kyle was going crazy. Kyle was going crazy on them. QB runs, making being improvisational, making a lot of shit happen, man. Once we were able to get a couple stops on them, the offense started getting it going, got the run game going a little bit, and Josh just had to do Josh like shit, man. No, Josh looked good, man. Overrated? No, he's not overrated. <laughs> he's not overrated. I disagree with that, man. <laughs> That's he just had to do what he had to do to get a win, man. That's all everybody. So you happy with that? How did, how did you feel like good going week two? A win is a win. Y'all got Miami. Thursday. Yeah. Tomorrow. How do you feel about uh, Hamlin? Uh, he still he still got a it's early he still got a lot of work to do because on the one play, well uh, where old boy got to stop he was beat he was right he was behind the play so yeah. he was like he was behind the play a lot so he got a lot of work to do. Our defense got a lot of work to do honestly because they were playing behind them the whole game so offense finally came through and made some plays. Coleman, that nigga gonna be nice for for you. Coleman, no. that nigga stop for real man. It's still hurts <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> Cincinnati lost to the New England Patriots 16 to 10. Once again, we lose a, a week one game. Embarrassing. Once again, we lose the week one game. And so now, in week one, uh, my man Joe is one for one in five. One in five. One in five now, and it all looks the same. Every time he starts week one, he, he gave me no, one in five one in week four. one games. One in four. Yeah. Yeah, one and four. Well, they're, they're but no, I see it was one and eight in week one and well, two. One I think that's two. what I think that's what it was. It's week is one and eight, week one and two. Yeah, week one and two. Yeah. One and four. I thought it was one week one, one record. Yeah. So it was never good coming when he showed up week one. It's his first. I could have sworn we wanted to get off to a fast start, seeing that my man's finally had a healthy off season, but that shit didn't work either. And I'm going to put a lot of blame on this game on him because he didn't play well. He was looking at the rush damage the whole time. He out there seeing ghosts. He not even looking at the covers half the time because as soon as you're looking at the D-line, he see him not, going to, not have nowhere to go and he's doubling his shit off to the running back all game. He's playing dig and duck football. They playing cover two. So all he's doing, yeah, I'm going to take what the defense gives me. That gives you 29 attempts for 164 yards. That's garbage. That is not going to get it done. That's terrible. touching his wrist. I, I, don't mean, I don't mean nothing about that. He had surgery on the shit. I'm sure the shit is sore. That's just... Same you got to throw it every day, so Absolutely it's going to be not affecting him. It's going to be pain tolerance. Courtney is being. He's, he's out there. He's out there playing. As long as he's out there, he's going to have to deal with that shit all year or whatever. But he didn't play well at all. And The scheme, what about the scheme? The man? scheme is garbage, that. man. The scheme been garbage. All we do is rely on our playmakers to make plays for us. It's like every time these niggas have a good game, it looks like one of the hardest games they had to play in their life in order to get open. I don't understand how we got good players. Well, how we got one good receiver, the other one that we just drafted don't even play. The other two niggas that we drafted two years ago can't seem to get open. And it's like, why are we not running plays to get these niggas open? Like, it's not hard. Where are the rub routes? Where are the different di concepts? Where are the switch routes? Where, where are the cover two beaters? What's going on? Where's the pick route? Something. Something that schemes somebody on where's the high low, something. They just run the six yard, five, four yard hitches, four yard ends all day. That shit is not going to get it done. Yeah, you gotta remember the classic speed. Yeah, out. It's it's speed out. Out. It's it's terrible. This <laughs> shit is garbage, man. And it, and it's, it, it, it's been like this. It's been like this for a while, man. Our scheme is very, it's very average. We're not creative. Mm -hmm. And this shit is not gonna get this shit ain't gonna get it done, bro. And then we play it terrible. And then what about the run game? Like One game, we should have ran it more. I feel like we could have ran the ball more. We only ran that bitch 
Zach, Zach Vaughn, he had like nine, nine carries. Nine or ten carries. Joe ran a couple of times. But I don't count the bitches as runners. We should have ran it more if we actually was getting about four and a half, five yards a carry. But they just... just, just nine thinking. carries, 44 yards, 4.9 in touch. He's thinking dunk. Passing attack is terrible. And we not, why are we not looking at Chase throughout the game? He's our best our best offensive weapon. Why are we not looking throughout the, throughout the, throughout the, throughout the game? Was he on the pitch count? Six 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 he targets, played enough. six receptions. He played enough. He was out there about 80% of the time. He played enough. I, yeah, man, I, 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 the funny thing is, I didn't, even, I didn't even think he played. Like, I wasn't like locked in he on your game. He catch. Because I had, I had multiple games going on, but just... Every time I looked over there, he was not making no play, not getting the ball. I I really was like, damn, does this nigga play? Yeah, he, he, he got 10 yards to catch. I'm not giving no week one passes. I don't give a fuck what his record is. He got to come He got to come better prepared than that. Offense got to do it. They all got to play better. It's week one, but this is this just stinks to me. I don't I don't look I don't look I don't see nothing that's gonna change. Unless T Higgins get out there, we can. Those some more go routes to T. Higgins. Do y'all mix Joe Mixon? Because Joe Mixon had a day week one. Yes, he did. He had a day. Bro. And it's the, it's the play calling, bro. We only ran one screen. Like what? Are, we're not running. Nothing is creative. This shit is garbage, man. This shit is garbage. And not to mention our defense. We can't tackle nobody. Everybody want to keep tackling up high. Can we wrap a nigga up by his legs? That's how you stop momentum shit. from going I really forward. Can't stand that shit. I don't understand it. Niggas aren't tackling, trying to tackle a nigga up high. Sound like me yelling at the kids. Yeah. Hey, right, right. Me too, nigga. Like, this don't make no sense. I'm losing my shit right this now. This don't make no sense. Like, I don't know why. They, I don't, this is this is bad coaching, man. Niggas is not prepared. 50% is on the quarterback. 50% is on the defense and the secondary to act like they can't tackle. And we got some we got some good linebackers. Get some more linebackers in the game. Get some of them corners and safety out. They can want to come. Two tight end sets with six linemen. They're not throwing the ball. <laughs> Facts. Fuck. You better have to come out with 12 personnel, nigga. We running that bitch. Facts. I don't make millions Five, of two. dollars. I, I get a play action here and there, but 89% of the time we ain't running that shit. Yeah. And now, good luck. And you going to keep lining up in dime and nickel. I'm about to run this down your throat. <laughs> and now, good luck. You just wasted the opportunity to be, be the team that's probably not going to win more than probably six games this year. We'll see. Defense, def their defense did look good. Six. But Smart we'll see. Good. Yes. Okay. But we'll see. Because now you got Kansas City <clears throat> coming up. Yeah. And that was not the game to do for week two, we are 0-5 in week two since Zach Taylor been there. So it probably will be 0-6. So once again, starting off behind the, behind the horn. And hopefully we better be 2-2 two and two by the time we got to see the Ravens come week five. Hopefully. That's our best hope is try to... Try to say this evening. Yeah, we can play better throughout the line, but you can't keep starting behind behind the behind the eight ball every single season. That shit is not gonna work. We already seen what happened last season. Shit is not gonna work, man. And I'm and a real talk, I'm getting concerned about my quarterback because he done been hit so many times, this nigga starting to see ghosts. He's starting to scamper out the pocket and ain't nobody behind him. That was one of the best games where our offensive line actually pass protected very well. And he's scampering out the pocket and he's not even getting pressure yet. So, he got to get it together, man. Often got to help him out because he never hit so many times, he's starting to see ghosts, and that ain't never a good sign. Dang. Tough week one, man. Tough hey, week one. Hey, listen, man. Tough week one. Next. Uh, next, America's Game of the Week. The Dak Pay Game. The Tom Brady Game. Oh my really? God. Man, they, they, they had, they had, they had, bro, they had more. The glaze was crazy. <laughs> nigga, they had more Tom Brady commercials than actually commercials for the niggas that was yes. playing each other. Like, come on, Yo, <laughs> that, that shit glaze, was embarrassing, bro. Krispy Kreme don't have as much glaze as that. <laughs> that, that, that broadcast. <laughs> that that shit was scary. How, how do you rate? How do you grade Tom Brady's bro? Who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the game. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm not gonna lie. And maybe I feel like that because the game sucked for me, like my team. But just hearing this nigga talk was annoying. As fuck, <laughs> yes, that's exactly. Like right. man, that shit was annoying. That's exactly. What like I do not like this nigga as a. And he was a great court. Hey, you're not always great in all areas of life, but it's just like I don't know if I like this shit, bro. I don't think I don't, I don't know. He didn't really do. Much like put him on a show, but to hear this nigga for a whole game, like I, I, I think it was just because of it. Yeah, it, it could it could be. I, I, really was was that bad. I was I was more mad at the others than Tom. The, the diggy and the 
Bro, no, it was at all. Like, all time. The, all that, time high, bro. Was, for, a, for a fucking commentator, <laughs> that bro. shit was pissing me off. The delay. But, how many times did that nigga tell you, thank you for joining us? Man. Nigga, how many times are you going to keep telling this nigga? Bro, we get it. Right. You're happy to be in the booth with Tom Brady. We don't have to hear this every fucking five seconds. Look, nigga, I don't want to hear that nigga on my game no more, bro. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to hear that nigga on my well, game. Well, you know it's you know it ain't no more CBS, Fox, AFC, NFC thing. Yeah, so I know, I know. you definitely gonna get another Fox guy. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> so uh, Cowboys came into Cleveland and um, put built the ass, thirty-three to seventeen. What's the game, bro? You want to start you or should I go? Who was the game? Wait, player? can I say I got want to say one thing? I just want to get, get you know get going. I think one of the crucial things, and it's not like his fault, but like if Denzel Ward catch them picks, like I think we're looking at a different game. Like I hate like yeah. missed opportunities like that. Like, he talked about that too in the press conference. On the back end. He definitely talked like, about when, that in the press like, conference when, last year when the Jets played the Cowboys and Sauce dropped that pick six and then went on to drop forty on our fucking head like. Those type of plays, like, that could have changed the whole game right there. Especially in a game like that when you're getting right. nothing out of your offense. Right. You're like, oh, that just excites everybody. And Dak's like, fuck, I just got paid. I'm already doing picks. Like, that, that yeah. shit adds a lot. I, I just I just had to say that. And he, he legitimately had three. Oh, three really? Two, just, he had I saw two. two he sure. definitely had two that he should have called. But he definitely legitimately could have had, like, three picks in that game. Man, he talked about that. Y'all, y'all know how that go, man. You drop a pick and the next play he gets bombed on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something happened, right? Something happens and you be like, I man. think every time he dropped a pick, they scored a touchdown. Right? <laughs> the funny thing is, it was a reverse because CD caught that, that crazy ass pass on the sideline and Dak threw, and then the very next play, that nigga dropped a pick. Right. Huh? The but very they, next play. And then at the end of the drive, they scored a touchdown, though. Yep. And it's like, damn, like, you take a score off the board, you get the ball back. It like, happens, shit, bro. Shit, it just happens. happens. Every time, but my bad. Look, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be brief. Um, you know, for as much criticism as um number four got, I didn't see ninety five either. Um, but hey, he's a hell of a guy, so we're not gonna talk about him on week one. But he didn't show up either. Not granted, granted, granted. Okay, granted, okay, granted, okay, okay. okay Deshaun threw a touchdown. Okay, great. All right. Um. Uh. At the uh, end of the game. Uh. Uh. That was third quarter. Uh. Then, then on top of that, the third quarter? Yeah, it's Jerry Judy. It was third quarter. Yeah, it was. It was third. Yeah. And then, and then, and then on top of that, you know, uh, uh, they fundamentally they not sound yet. Still over pursuing too much aggressiveness. No adjustments. Miles, hey, hey, hey. Um, what's the deep deep coordinator? I forgot his name. He's so fucking. Short. Hey, Jim. Jim. Short. You know, I don't know if you noticed or not, but Miles was like double the triple team all day. Did you did you decide to make some adjustments at the fucking halftime? Just maybe one. I digress. So they weren't good either. Then you get up a special teams touchdown. They were abysmal. Yeah, you can't kick it to turn you, time. You can't, you can't kick it to turn you can't, time. You can't, different. you can't do that. That's that. Time. And that then, nigga wiggle crazy. That nigga turn and then time they sold us this 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 bill of goods. Oh, we're bringing Ken Dorsey. We've got this new explosive offense and all this shit. Where was it? Because I was under that the impression. I was under the impression that he was going to utilize his quarterback based on his skill set, but yet still he was just dropping back and passing in the shotgun. You know? Yo, so they got to find a way to, you know, maximize Deshaun's skill set. Uh, I would like to believe that there's still a quarterback inside of here somewhere. Uh, but, you know, here, you'll have, you'll have the majority of this fan base, uh, they'll say, uh, well, um, you know, put, put Jameis in. Uh, you know, help. They they could have been better with DTR. The favorite well, you know, quarterback is the well, you back know, quarterback. Clean well, you know, Baker. Well, you know, Baker threw four touchdowns in Tampa Bay. Who gives a fuck? Okay. The only thing relevant is how Kevin Stefanski can make Deshaun Watson better, and we haven't seen that yet. That goes with the coach and the player. Cause did 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 does he have any problems with Manny? He helped him. Surely Bill helped Tom. I haven't seen him help this guy yet. And what I mean by helping him, play it according to his skill set. If he was Joe Montana, he could drop back and pass that motherfucker. Shit. No question. And he got Mike Victory defenses. It's it's just so much that I don't I don't see 
that could be aiding a player that has has only played 13, 14 games in three seasons. So it's got to be something easy. You talk about some screens. I didn't see no screens. Yeah, we ain't couldn't get. We ain't did nothing easy. But on top of that, you couldn't even get no push because we was. I mean, you couldn't get no no pull because we was getting pushed all afternoon on the offensive line. So many many things to clean up. So when you run your training camp like a fucking hotel resort, that's what you get. <laughs> That's the line. He went on. He went on. He went on. Ninety-two to fan and said they don't even tackle in in training camp. Club Med. We haven't tackled. King Carmen. I mean, I can't Carmen. Nick was like, but you don't tackle. We haven't tackled in four years. Shit, y'all sitting out there tackling to me. Shit. He said they don't. They don't tackle in, in, in their training camp preseason. I mean, so I. So it's it's just it was just no toughness, no physicality. What was the game plan, Kev? That's crazy. So I'm, so the players the players were were terrible. No question. But that means the coaching staff was abysmal if the players were terrible. Your job is to prepare the players, right? And they didn't look prepared. Not in one phase of the game. Special teams, defense, or offense. The only person that was on point was a goddamn elf in the middle at the 50-yard line. No, that elf got a go. I ain't going to lie. I'm looking at that elf. It's aesthetics. No. Don't worry about it. That elf got to go. Elf that's what we talked about. That was, that was the brownie. That was the brownie. brownie. That was the bright spot. That, that was that the bright spot so on Sundays. No, the fuck it wasn't. The elf gotta go. I'm standing on my soapbox about that. The elf gotta go. You fuck with Elfie. I don't, bro. Don't disrespect Elfie, though. That's that's my that. Don't disrespect him. Don't disrespect him, but he, he gotta, gotta go. go. Well, I hear it, though. Don't, don't talk about him. <laughs> I can talk bad about him, boy. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But look, man. Or itself. Or I, itself. I don't want to spend too long with this because this is, this is very traumatic. This shit that I'm feeling right now. So I'm gonna try to control this thing. This is on fire, too. <laughs> so, number one. It's only week one, so I don't want to overreact. But at the same time, I don't want to fucking underreact either, because this was like historically bad offensively. And historically bad for Deshaun Watson, too. I'm not giving this nigga no passes on this shit. I understand it. You lost your pops. You got a lot of shit going on. I'm, I'm sure that, that accusations and this shit, we ain't get to talk about that, but we definitely need to get that out the way, too. But I'm sure that was in the back of his mind, too. But as a fucking professional, if you decide to step out on that field, you're expected to fucking perform. The nigga had a 9 QBR. And I get it. The offensive line was shitty. But if he Why had... I over there? I know this nigga was <laughs> A 9... Look. A, look. A worse QBR than Bo Nix and fucking Bryce Young. Wow. Bryce Young, you sold it for me. Right? Nigga, that's alarming. That's a, and you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a Deshaun Watson fan. As a Brown fan, I want this nigga to succeed. But this is year three. I know it's just one game. And he has like an all-time bad game every year. So hopefully this is just that one game this year. We get this out of the way and we keep this shit pushing. That's why I don't want to overreact. But at the same time, bro, if this shit continues, there's no way we can defend this nigga, bro. The same treatment we gave Baker Mayfield for being inconsistent and all that shit year in and year out. If this shit continues, bro, we can't... Like, this shit can't continue. If this shit happens next week, I'm not saying I'm jumping off the bandwagon, but it's like, nigga, this shit is gonna... The playing like this will end your career quicker than them acquisitions. Out of the, the games he's played, this, that's by far the worst one. And then, look, look, I don't want to... I don't want to put it all on him, because, like, it's definitely on coaching. What was the game plan? The scheme was terrible. We had no... I, I had no idea watching this game. What are we trying to do to attack this defense? To offset the the uh, the pass rush, they got a rookie corner. Why are we not attacking a rookie corner? It just want it want no simple plays. It wasn't a, where's a slant? none easy. Where's a slant? Where where's a go route? Uh, get Cedric Tillman in space. Let him go one on one. Something creative. Get the ball out of his head quick. Whether him dropping back and oh damn, there's Micah right there. I don't have no time for that read. But he was also he was also holding the ball. So he had certain situations when we had time. He was holding the ball. When he was getting clean pocket, he was off target on throws. No rhythm. I mean, that's any quarterback. When he was throwing deep, that bitch fucking five forty yards out of bounds and shit. I'm dragging it, but that shit like bro, what that <laughs> shit can't go out of Like you you y'all y'all play ball. receivers. Y'all play receivers. When when you get a ball like that, you be like, damn nigga, can I get a chance? After that sprint it, after that sprint it, I'm tired. I'm talking about that bitch going to hit the sidewalk. Yeah, like, that's that's you hit the I know you ain't just throwing that bitch on the field. I know you ain't just throwing that bitch on the field. And then I don't well, think, I don't think you keep dropping that last one in. 
But I, 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 he I, was on the sidewall, though, dog. <laughs> I know the niggas. Sidewall. I know coaches is big on body language, but it's hard to control your body language with shit like that. It's like, bruh, what the fuck? The fuck is this nigga throwing this shit? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I done had a ball like this. Spaz out. Best believe. But also, man, no, no balance with the offense. Like we didn't run the, we didn't fucking run the ball at all. Right? We didn't run the ball at all. I see. Nineteen carries for. <laughs> for thirty three yards. Like, and with a pass rush like Dallas, and like you said, we we you didn't see teams prepare for a nigga like Miles Garrett. They and you had. They had the perfect game. You game. have to be able to run the ball. You can't. We, we're constantly in second and long, third and long pass situation. They pinning their ears back. We we get no success on first down. We had one first down in the first two quarters, nigga. That's insane. That was a laugher. I did, I don't understand how they watched. Not getting David Njoku easy touches. They don't do nothing easy, man. Everything is complicated. Easy. And, he, he, and, he, and he's he's due for a drop again. He is. And everything is complicated with, with, with Now, Coop dropping that shit, that was like, yeah, that, was, that, that shocked that me. Was I was like, what? This but I can tell they was out of scene. Yeah, he ain't playing the preseason either. Question. Please, need him. Um, it was brought up at the uh, lunch table at work a couple days ago. Um, do you guys think Kevin Stefanski and offensive um, thinking group are calling different plays for Deshaun than they did for Joe Flacco? A hundred percent, yes. Why do you think so? I have no idea. Everything for Joe Flacco was simple. Yep, dumbed it down. It was simple. What? Three-step drops, balls out. Play action. Play action. I didn't see not one play action fade. So sc screens. Granted, you can't because you're not fucking running now, the ball. Now, give me. Don't get me wrong. Joe, Joe had Joe, in that Chicago game. Joe showed some arm talent. He was slinging that mark. He got. That. But but Deshaun ain't no slouch with that at coach. all. I, again, John, he's a. If you get the kid into rhythm, when he if he get a couple throws, it just it gotta be matching his skill set. You just can't. I'm not gonna drop back and pass with this dude. I'm gonna do some design runs. I'm, I'm gonna get him bootlegging out. But let, let me tell it's you, it's gotta something. be something simple. Something. That's what Deshaun wants to do, though. Deshaun wants to drop back five wide, cause that's what he did at Clemson. That's what he did in Houston. He never really had a run game. We that's what they told us. Playoffs. That's what the whole Ken Dorsey thing was about. Give but as a coach, help. as a coach, you gotta. I mean, not scout, man. Pepper, as a but, uh, coach, you gotta marriage, I, marriage, I, I, marriage. I, I you gotta Pepper. marriage what he likes to do. And also what you like to do, and that we haven't been able to do that shit when it comes to Deshaun Watson. We get Brissett in there, we get Flacco in there, it's a different they, offense. Exactly. So why is everything so complicated for him? Uh, that's all, they gotta is figure it, that shit out. Is, it's it, is, it, is, it, is it sabotage? I don't know. They gotta, I don't know. I, 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 heard, heard, I heard somebody heard say that. Word. I heard somebody that's say That's why I brought it up. When I heard him that playing that bad, and then the accusation, accusations coming out. I don't necessarily believe that, but I'm I just talking about like before that. I'm talking like, about yeah. last year. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm talking about last year because the same thing. And y'all just brought it up. The offense looked one way before Deshaun got hurt, and the moment Joe Flacco comes on the scene, y'all niggas scoring thirty points a game. Yeah. And like that contrast is just too crazy. Like that's what I'm it's saying. It's not like it's like oh, it's a little. I've been meaning. Like, I, I've like, been seeing it. I've been. But we brought it up at, at work, and we was talking about it, and I was like, it, 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 it is crazy. Like, your offense looks, it, it's day and fucking night. Mm -hmm. There's, yeah. like, no similarities at all on what y'all call with number four compared to other quarterbacks. And like you were saying, nothing easy. Nothing. nothing I'm seeing easy. other teams, they get nothing a little easy, easy. little dunk. Nothing a little, easy. A little dink and dunker. And they didn't give him a chance. It's like, Hell, one, even one read, and someone's in the backfield. That's so it's it. like if I, I I take a step and I'm trying to throw, he's not open, then it's over for but, me. But you can't, and I brought this point up earlier when we came in, you can't keep running five wide and leaving that fucking animal over there. No disrespect to Michael Parsons, I don't mean it like that, but you are a fucking beast, dude. No, for sure. You're you can't man. keep fucking leaving him one-on-one -on -one with a fucking backup. With a weak ass chip. Bro, they could do five wide and just have two <coughs> tight guys chip the, Like, there's so many things you could do. And it seemed so like they many, didn't even, like, so it didn't many, click man. for no nothing. 
And like, like, I, like I was talking to you about this. I feel like they're trying out this Ken Dorsey shit, and they're not really running because Kev like twelve personnel, thirteen personnel. Yep. We have only two tight ends, really one now, because David got hurt. He's not on IR, so that's a good sign. He should be back in a couple of weeks. But week to week, they say it's just like I'm know like we we in fucking uh. We trying shit out right now. It's like, they bro, should, that's what you do in the fucking preseason. Seattle, you know they got the short IR. Minnesota. Where yeah, yeah, I know where Minnesota is. Yeah, so you can bring somebody in. No, for sure. Because right. it opens up roster spot. Let's yeah. get into the uh, week two pickles, please. I thought they Excuse was me. cool, though. We have one more game. So. God damn. Oh, we forgot. We didn't. Okay, come on. We I'm had sorry. a Monday. We had a Monday night game where someone's quarterback completed the game. And we he would like to discuss that. The oh. New York... Football Jets. <laughs> My bad. I, I forgot. I thought we talked about it already. Took on the San Francisco 49ers. Uh -huh. and I, I agree not that. San Francisco. But <laughs> they didn't make no, it was no impact. They didn't make yeah. no plays. Who? The Browns defense. Oh. It wasn't the dumbness. Well, one. like I said, the Niners took on the Jets. Um, Final score, 30-19. to 32-19. 32-19, excuse me. You got to put them two points on there. What was the Eddie. game plan, Justin? Uh, make sure that Rogers finished the game. Okay. That's what it looked like to me, and I thought that was ass. Like we went three and out on three straight runs the first drive, and now like I'm a you know I talk I love Brees so like that's he's he's one of them. But fumble on the second drive, we're trying to get Aaron Rodgers going. This is his first game in six hundred days. Get him some easy. <laughs> his first game. Damn. We run the ball three straight times. A, f a drop pass by Alan Lazard. Why the fuck is yo? Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, I see that. The shit. second that I saw it, it was two a two hour receiver set. And it was Garrett Wilson and fucking Alan Lazard, and we signed Mike Williams. We got all these fucking guys. That shit was pissing me off so much. Like every time he was on the field, I don't care how many touchdowns he scored. I don't care if he had fifteen catches. He should not be touching the field over Mike Williams. I don't give a fuck. He is so ass. He pisses me off so much. <laughs> fucking Brees, why are Aaron we? Aaron wanted him though. Yeah, he could be the third guy. He could be the third option. Fourth, third, we just got guy. fucking Mike Williams. Let throw the fucking go ball to him. That's our T. Higgins. Throw the fucking go ball to him, please. <laughs> oh, <real laughs> like, what the fuck are we doing? And like, we kept overfeeding Brees. You know, our line didn't play great. They didn't play like abysmal, but you know, it was probably. It was, and it was the Niners defense. Yeah, yeah and it's the Niners defense. So I didn't like harp on him too much. We couldn't run the ball that well, but 21 passes, like, I, we were so passive, and Nathaniel Hackett, once again, just is so shitty. Nate Hack. <laughs> big Hack. <laughs> big like, Hack. Like Never that, a little. That's that, Big Hack. That Aaron Rodgers pull that he had, like, just coming here and changing shit and getting that bum another job, like, that shit is insane to me. Because I don't understand it. It's so... Like, elementary, like, we're running into a brick wall. What the fuck are we doing? Like, let our guy throw the ball. Let him get cut. He's Aaron Rodgers. Like, I'm sure if he gets some rust off, like, if he would have completed 50% of the passes, made through do 40 passes, like, it's fine. Like, he, he has to get going, but I'm not going to do 20. Like, we were so scared, and it was just He nasty. was spinning that bitch, though. And he was throwing some dimes. Like, he was getting back into his move. He could have moved, though. He was looking crazy when he was moving. That shit, he looked 40. He looked every <laughs> bit of 40 out there trying to move. That shit was funny. Yeah. He could have get out the box. Yeah. He was just getting rid of that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he still got that. He got the flicker to wrist. Yeah, yeah. but he was, he was diving that shit. He still got that flicker to wrist. Your body do one thing and your mind do another. Yep, so um, that's my take on offense. <laughs> Fire Nathaniel Hackett. He's nah. Adam Gates Jr. Like, this man, motherfucker is terrible. Hey, hey yo, fun. his post. I was weak. When I was posted that shit, like, aha! <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew, like... I was trying to. I was on this. I was on this last year. Yeah. I was like, it's not really Zach. What? Like his play calling is terrible, and it showed up again. But it's week one. Like I said, he was very. It looked like very nervous play calling. That defense. What the fuck happened? Like, oh my god, they gashed this. That kid ran like yeah, it was yeah. like the holes that were opening. And I, I mean, like Jordan Mason. Yeah, crazy holes. He was Trey. breaking tackles. Trey. Trey. 
<laughs> oh, that's, that's no, that's you Trey Mason. <laughs> no, I, I remember Trey Mason. Twenty-eight carry, hundred forty-seven yards. Look, they was playing to hard run. for a guy that found out he was starting on Friday. That nigga went. Didn't he go for three TDs? But Kyle learned his lesson from twenty sixteen. That one rushing touchdown. Just one. When it's rolling, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the Super Bowl yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah, just he was a uh, he was system. he was like cooking, and we, we couldn't we had no, we had no answer for that shit. I mean, Hassan Reddick, his case looks crazy right now. He had no pass rush, so he has he has some leverage right now. Definitely do. Uh, no pass rush. Obviously, motherfuckers don't hit. I know I'm not gonna blame the players because I I've witnessed our own players want to play in the preseason, but like. Sauce got taken out of the game by Debo, big ass. <laughs> like he made one tackle on him, like fucking shoulder tackle, yeah, and he was out right for like two shoulder. drives. Like, no, you don't shoulder tackle Debo. <laughs> no, no. You but, bring everything or, you got. or you get used to fucking hitting in the preseason, so that doesn't shock your fucking whole right side of your body. <laughs> so like, still, just your body and his just go. Oh, you gotta, don't yeah. show. Sauce got to bring everything. Uh, Michael Carter got it's paid this offseason and really got torched in the slot. Um. Oh, I'd be vouching for Sauce, but I hate that he doesn't follow. So when they put Ayuk in the slot, I mean... If he, he was clamping Ayuk, too, when they was good. When, yeah, when they were matched they up, he clamping. had him. And then, like, like if Ayuk didn't fucking miss training camp, he probably has a bigger day because he was frying Michael Carter. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Who is Sauce Garden? Who, who is that guy? <laughs> Jawan Jennings, I know he had, a, he, had a good, he had a good Super Bowl, but God damn, like, that's Jawan like... Jawan got, Jawan got a little juice. I like Jawan, though. He be he's getting sad. old. He's, he, he's a solid third. Yeah, he get off. He's a he solid third. But it's like, like we're like wasting our best quarter. Yeah, but I would not, I'm not putting Sauce on Jawan Jennings. Yeah, bro. And then DJ Reed looks nah, shitty. Nah, not a waste of time. I don't know. He but would. if you're going to do that, now you need to double whoever in the slot. Exactly. But we weren't doing that. And I get it. You know, he just got paid. So trust you guys. It's week one. I get it. He didn't have a good showing. Whatever. DJ Reed looked ass. He was like celebrating like first down gains, tackles. Like his little ass was, you know, he didn't do the hip job. You know, he didn't get no flag. But um, that was fucking terrible. I don't know. I just. I'm not as concerned because I saw some flashes, and we played. And that's, NFC that's a that's a tough week one match. Yeah, like we played the NFC champs in their there. in their city, so it's like I get it. You know, I'm not I'm not yeah, gonna. That bitch was rocking. Fred had the arms. Yeah, and yeah, Fred was. He had oh, yeah. them niggas. And that's another thing too. Like like everybody is sound, like you said they sound the alarm after one game. You, you know just. Just hold on, people. Yeah, like I'm relaxed. It's usually a big I got Aaron, Aaron Rodgers hopped on the radio. I remember he, for most teams. Was it 0 and 4? And he spelled it out. Like I'm cool. Nice. I, I, I'm comfortable. Nice. It's not Zach Wilson back no, there. No, you don't think that. I see you playing the reserves. Well, yeah. I mean, how does you well, keep doing that stuff? Huh? Yeah. I mean, by week by week four, you should know. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So I just some things to tighten up. But that's the that's the standard that we just played. That's that's the Super Bowl team right there. So if we talk about we're contenders, we got to tighten a lot of shit up. I, I that's, like that. I agree to get that. Those are the guys. I like that take for sure. But on the on the Tennessee, please <laughs> on the week two, bro. Right, week two. Man, I've been saying this shit all week. Man. Week two, week pick week two. So again, if you are new to this broadcast, we have our favorite teams, and I will be announcing those games later on. I will start with the first game. Uh, not. Oh, uh, not part of our conglomerate of teams up here. And that will be the 49ers against the Vikings. Where's the game? It's leaving you oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on before, before we start our picks. Who Are we won still last the same week? order? Yes. Who won last week? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I, oh, shit. I think I broke even in the, in the, in the last I'll team. be happy if I did. We have oh, you got the same yeah, pick, so if okay. not even. We'll, we'll get back to that at the end. We'll do the picks first, and then you we'll, we'll yeah, I kind of count it up at the end. So, uh, 49ers, Vikings. Can Sling and Sammy Ball do it again? I think not. Now, why you want to come down here and mess with these five? <laughs> you want some too old man? No. Nope. <laughs> Give me the 49ers. <laughs> Hey, it wouldn't matter if they had their starting quarterback. Bang, bang, not their game, man. 49ers. Remember that San Francisco up there lost last year? That was last that year. Was, they, they didn't have no – everybody was hurt. Going to 24. That was last year. <laughs> the 
Where they live, they get the jets. And Kirk Cousins is playing. This is the same scene in the crowd. <laughs> and Kirk Cousins playing. Kirk Cousins playing. He said, he said, Sammy might have another. Where'd you say it was at? Justin Jefferson making anybody look good. It's in Minnesota. Nah, Sammy just ain't have a real chance. Where? I'm not like kind of like Kyle Coward. You know, he's still the guy. He's still the one. What did he get drafted? He got drafted by the um, Jets. Jets. And then he went to Carolina. Imagine if y'all. Like he had some. Then he went to San Fran. Yep. Is that what Kevin O'Connell doing? We need to be standing. (laughs) Because niggas be open. Nah, be right. Niggas be open. <laughs> I, there's got there's a game plan out there that you can use. Niggas yeah. be open. All right, no. Oh, and, uh, the Niners are six six point favorite. Yeah. Think the Niners. So we're all on the Niners, right? Yeah. So we're okay. all on the Niners. All right. Um, I think I know when we're all going on this one. Um, Chargers Panthers. So we're all oh, on the oh, Chargers. Oh, what's, what's, what's uh, home? Char- the, uh, Carolina, Carolina home, Charlotte. All on the Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't need to spend much time on that, John. Speaking of Charlotte, if you ever go down there and you want some good soul food, go to Merck's. Facts. Shout out to Merck's. Get you some cornbread. Some of that sweet tea. <laughs> they got delicious yellow cake, too, man. Don't forget that yellow cake. Don't drop that fucking yellow cake. <laughs> That food was so good, we still talk about it, and we don't even, and we don't even eat, eat that no shit. More. We can't, I don't even know that shit was so good. I might, I might renege for birds. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we got another renege for birds. <laughs> 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 we can't even eat it. That's a side dish. Yo, that's that's that word, that's how we fucked up when you said that. Well, you don't say a hard, hard, that shit. He did. Like, you said that was a hard, hard. I only heard the first part. All right, we did. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got it. Oh, Surprisingly. Surprisingly. The Seahawks are taking on the one and zero Patriots <laughs> in New England. Wow! Oh, damn. <laughs> this might be a pickle. Where the game at? In New England. In New England? Foxborough. Foxborough. Seattle is favored by three and a half. Got my answer. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going New England, bro. Give me Seahawks. Get what I get. That's good. Give me Seahawks. I'm, I'm New England. Big Gino, not the little one. Big Gino. Getting this good. Shout out to our ODC, Mike McDonald. They wrote me off what I do. I ain't right back. (laughs) No talking shit. We got to put that in the bed. I said that last week. I'm tired of this nigga saying that shit. It's got to go. Okay, he said that shit in a preseason press conference. No, he did. He said that after week one. No, he said when they played us. When they oh, played us in week three of the preseason, oh. he said that shit. I'm oh. like, bro, get the fuck out of here. I thought he was talking about when he initially said it. I remember him saying yeah, that. Yeah, no, I'm saying so yeah, yeah, no. about That's why I said he, we got to retire that shit, Gino. Please, um, please. Saints, Cowboys. Who you go You said Seattle? Yeah, I said Seattle. Shout out to Mike McDonald. Got his first dub. Who's home? Coach. Dallas. Dallas. Dallas is home. Yeah, give me Dallas. Oh, that's what's going on. Dallas doesn't mind. Give me the same. Let me get the cowgirls. Let me get the boys, man. Let's get here. Too much Michael Parsons. Yeah, give me Dallas. Too much CD on that. Derek Carver's talking shit. He forgot who he was. Yo, he told, like Ward. Ward. <laughs> he told Jason Ward. He told Jason Ward. Got three. Are you? Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. That, that was tough, though, for the Get your ass on all face. face. <laughs> I love that. That was tough. Um, I, fuck with I like this rookie, but I unfortunately, mean, guys, I like I said, if you're new to this broadcast, we have a um, not a segment, but a um, game we like to call shit can game of the week. Tagline, it's a tagline. Um, t-shirts coming soon. Giants, Commanders. Oh, this is give me the. Can. Go ahead, Dom. Give me the, give me the red scams. <laughs> Deagle keeps saying it. Too. I second that notion. <laughs> I, got, I got the Giants. Give me the Hogs. I'm not Giants. picking Daniel Jones. Give me the Hogs. I just man. can't do it. I, I, I just can't, can't do, do it. it. Give me uh, what's what's buddy Where name? Jaden McDaniels. Give Commanders. me Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> Jaden McDaniels the Commandos. He'll be his brother Jake. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like a. They put the mic on I really, it. I really do think that the Giants have it. I think they're both ass, and I like. The Giants' other parts. So. 
I seen the commanders other parts like kind of like show. I didn't see shit the Giants did. Nah, none at all. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a good. And one. I remember you said they gonna miss Saquon, and I I seen that. Oh yeah. They replace Saquon with like Devin Singular. And man, he got like ten less speed. Like he got ten less everything. <laughs> he's a shorter, ten he's less taller. More, more, right? He lifts less. Like everything he does is less. So you went from, from a ninety-two running <laughs> back swag. to like a seventy-five. <laughs> does, does the New York Giants? Does the general manager? Does he still? Does he or she still hold their job? Yes. Yeah, he I got his, he got his kids helping him put the draft board. He together. got a he got a hard knocks special. <laughs> and that shit is ass. I see why he all shitty. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, this is gonna be a good game. Um, Buccaneers Lions. What's the rematch? Who's on? Detroit. Why Detroit get both their playoff rematches week one and two? That's scared as fuck, NFL. Uh, Detroit, again. Have both of them at home in the playoffs and get both of them home week one and two. What did the Buccaneers play last week? The Commanders. The Commanders. Give me the, uh, four touches. Yeah, give me the line. Baker's not throwing four touches on them. Give me the line. Um, I'm going to take Detroit. Baker sure, would have won. He won't score for a touchdown, but he will win in the game. I'm going Lions. I'm gonna go Lions too. I can't. I'm do it. I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like I'm last. Worried. Last week was so shitty. I'm not taking no risk this week. I'm not. It's still early, man. I'm risk that you may take. And if y'all didn't pick the Lions, I'd have called y'all some. Motherfuckers, cause Mufasa just died, and y'all gotta pick the line. <laughs> so I'm going with the line. <laughs> oh, shout out James Earl Jones. So so. There you have it. No, no way the line. Shout out to us. shout out to Mufasa. Mufasa. Um. I like the way they look. Though, yeah, I did, I did enjoy. Yeah, shout out to Frank Brevity too. Yeah. Man, oh, man. Damn, that guy. Who's this legend? I'm crazy. Got a stamp all on that team, boy. They buying kneecaps, ankles, everything. <laughs> My boy Jamo went off too. Nah, that's scary. They get him going. Yeah, that's scary. Colts Packers mm-hmm. in Lambeau Field. Give me Colts. Jordan Love is out. I know y'all. I think y'all know yeah, that. Buddy Love is gone for a while. Who's, who's QB two in Green Bay? Malik Willis. Never heard of him. Uh, let me get the. Let me get Indiana. He played for the Tennessee Titans. Indiana. He's shit. Indiana. Alright, we what's the matchup again? Colts. Colts Packers. Indiana Colts versus the Green Bay Packers. Man, stop saying that. Oh, Colts. Colts. Are we all on the Colts? They were all on the Colts. Give me those fucking Colts. Who's on? Packers. It's not Colts, though. Ooh, a division game. Yes. Out in Temp. Is it in Tempe? No, it's Glendale. 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 Glendale, Arizona. Mm. Um, Arizona Cardinals versus... The Los Angeles Rams. No Makuna Matata, y'all. Yes, Puka is out. He's out. They got Cook. I should have told you. They got Cook. They do got Cooper. And they got Stafford. They do. And and, uh, and, and their coach has schemes. Yes. <laughs> and things. I'm going to pick Arizona. How many targets did Cooper Cup had? Like 15? Well, last week. Per mm-hmm. usual. That's what I call his targets, per usual. I love it. <laughs> where, where the game? I love it's in it. Arizona. Arizona. Glendale. And we thought of, we thought of the Cappy Cappy. Get you guys the we, fucking ball. Like, like me and Justo was... Get you guys the ball. <laughs> like me and Justo said earlier this year, when the fuck did Cooper Cup become a number two? Oh, wide receiver two. <laughs> oh my God. When I saw that, it's blown away. Never. Whatever. Puka had that one hot year. Goddamn. <laughs> While he was not there. Yeah. Now he's a number two receiver. Now he's a number two receiver. Okay. Get the Triple fuck crown. Okay. okay. Who it. was that? I don't uh, think it works like that. One of the betting apps put that up. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Yeah, that. You said how many targets do we have? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Rams. I'm going to go Rams. Now Rams, Cardinals, Rams. Give me Cardinals. This is definitely an opportunity game. I'm going to go Rams. I'm going to go Rams. Cardinals. Cardinals. Give me Scotty McVay. 21 targets. I guess. 14. I love it. I don't know, Scotty I fucking love it, bro. Mr. 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 Football. Man, how you get your man the ball? They have a non-mobile quarterback the with fuck? a beautiful arm. If I could, I'd go play for uh, Scott. Yeah. That's how you get your man the ball, bro. Uh, Cardinals. Okay. They're not fucking around. Um, next game. The Steelers versus the Broncos. Give me the Steelers. Fuck. Oh. 
Is it, I hate to say it so quick like that. It's a mile high. I'm gonna steal it, bro. They're about to be 2 0. I don't understand us always have problems with mile high, though. For some reason, I don't know what it is. Shit, I watched the niggas go to a Super Bowl. All right, I'm going to have my first biased peak of the year. I'm going to take Denver. Niggas got to niggas gotta put it in like, <laughs> like I want to use my life. Let me use my first biased peak of the year. Uh, Denver. God damn, <laughs> man. I can't have them going 2-0. Fuck. We got to pick the ladder last They got to play Russell Wilson. 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 He's still got, he's out, out the calf to the Niners, allegedly. Can they still? He didn't vent back. Steelers, no. Denver, Steelers. Steelers. Haynes me to say that name so much. Give me Wiz Khalifa team. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Mac Miller. You know the one that picked different? Yup. And this is in Denver. I shall be victorious. Sunday oh. night football. Me oh, too. Hey, me too. Hey, me too. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. No we, 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 we wish it for you too. We just picking this for the game. Yeah. <laughs> just for the picks. I gotta learn how to separate. I'll lose about one game in the season. It'll be this one. This year. Be separate now. That's hard for me, man. Uh, oh. Sunday night football. Caleb Williams' first road game in the NFL down in H Town. Wow. That nigga played. Give me H Town? Yeah. Joe Mixon, yeah. we miss you, bro. <laughs> that nigga fall. I know you do. Shit. Who you got, EB? We get used to it. I was going to pick the Bears. I think this is going to be a nice game. Like I said, I love the Bears defense. I fuck with their defense, but. Gotta go Texas. I go to Texans. Caleb Williams. So we're all on the Texans. Who was they coach? Yeah, you know what they're they, 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 they still ain't figuring something out with that offense. Chicago's coach? Yeah, they, they, they still ain't figuring something out with that offense. Yeah, Ibra Fuchs. Ibra Fuchs. That shit's ass. What is that, Spanish? <coughs> I have no idea. It's ass. No, it's ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, Monday what night, geez. Falcons versus the Eagles. Where? In Philly! Birds versus the birds. Give me Philly. Dirty birds. Yeah, the way Kirk was looking. Give me Philly. I'll take the Eagles. Yeah, give me the Eagles, man. Too much, too much shake one. We get that large Philly Eagles. Toting that bitch, bro. Too much shake one. All mushrooms. Crazy. Hold the cheese. He was in the hole crazy. All mushrooms. Oh, no onions? Onions and peppers. Oh, okay. The red peppers. He want the, he want the red peppers. The red peppers. The red peppers. The cheese they don't sit right in the outside. Yeah, I want them. Aesthetically. It yeah. I would need the cheese to cover that. <laughs> yeah, Extra tuck them under the Extra cheese, cheese on my red peppers. <laughs> Extra cheese on, on the red peppers. <laughs> matter fact, yeah. Matter of fact, substitute my red peppers for like more onions and mushrooms. No, <laughs> no, Get them the fuck out of here. See, see, see. What you gotta realize is that that <laughs> green pepper, that red pepper was once green. So it once it turned red, it gets sweet. I don't like yeah, it. We don't want that. Not, it's not there. like sugary sweet. I understand. Just, I know what sweet you're talking about. I don't want it's that like a on my savory sweet. No, no. I want an extra savory. <laughs> we we going for the green team and not the red team. So green peppers for me. On my feelings. Um, for this game. That's just where I differ. <laughs> I'm gonna go Falcons. That's why you got that Atlanta Falcons jersey on. It's not Matt Shaw, baby. It's Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Matt Shaw. So that is it for Ronnie uh, White. the other teams. Now on to our teams and uh, first game of the week. Tomorrow night, when you listen to this, it will be after the game. Dom, your Bills take on the Miami Dolphins down in the 305. Who y'all got? In the Yayo. Let me get the heat. I mean the Dolphins. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. Uh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I think we. I think we can win. Give me both, man. Give me both. Not mad at it. Give me both. You got just up. 
I swear, we, we, we know your we know your division. Should I be open that shit? This, this is your spike. This is your spike division. We understand. Um, give me Buffalo. Dolphins got to prove it to me. Facts. They did not look great. They didn't. They now didn't. I'm not even talking about week one. They have to prove it to me Just, that they can beat Buffalo. Facts. You know? I had them niggas. I get that. They have to prove it to me that they can beat Buffalo. And beat a playoff team. Too much Josh Allen. That's a good one. <laughs> so they got to prove it to me. So I gotta go Buffalo. Um, next, Las Vegas Raiders take on the Baltimore Ravens. So in, we're all in Baltimore. on the Ravens. Yes. I, yeah. I was just waiting for the objections. <laughs> I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't want to. I don't like this. Oh, my God. What nigga say? I need I'm some hate. I need some hate. I don't like, I don't that, like shit. that shit. I need at least one hater. <laughs> All right. Hey, niggas get too much money over there. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, next game. I mean, y'all can't go on one too, bro. What's happening? No, for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, next game. Bengals, Kansas City. Mm. Where's the game? Kansas City. Arrowhead. I want to give me a case. Burrowhead. Burrowhead. Oh, Burrowhead. shit. I don't think they're ready, man. I got the Chiefs. Oh, shit. You picked against both teams. Let me get Kansas City. I'm trying to win this shit this year. Dad, I'm trying to win. You trying, trying to take my crown back. Let me get Kansas City. I need the back. You know? <laughs> oh, no, bro. Oh, no. It's good. You want to the crown, but whatever. Give me a Chiefs. Huh? What? He ate it. <laughs> Same for you. So which one you think it is? Oh, you already picked. That's right. Go ahead. Give me the bungalows, man. Give me the bungalows. Let me see some opportunity here. Oh, see some opportunity I here. I love it, here. dog. I love it. I see some opportunity <laughs> here. Wow. I love when they when I'm we shy. see opportunity. I'm really shy. Okay. Uh, next, Browns Jags. Give me the dogs, man. Let's go. Back on track. Let me get Clee. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's I love. That's hilarious. It's in Jacksonville? Yeah, yeah. Duval. It's wild out there, man. Get that dub. Get your ass back home. Get your ass back home. Get your ass back on that plane. Right. <laughs> we going right after the game. Man. You it ain't not nothing. kicking it out there. None <laughs> you know, of that shit, and I hope, I hope they take the advantage of getting out of the city and getting away from all this negative energy. Man. Go down there and kick some ass. Cause y'all y'all fan base is negative as hell. Give me the Jags. We don't. I'm a good Jags. I'm a good Jags. Duval. The prince that was promised. That's what Nick Wright told me. I gotta see. I'm so sure. You gotta, you gotta I prove hate, it. I hate that saying. You gotta you gotta prove it. I, so I wanna see it. Let's see it. If you don't get it done, we are gonna start asking questions I'm about you too, buddy. Moving off you. Time to prove it. You had that one high year. All right. That one high album every 10 year average. In closing. E EB, we got to stop doing this. Chill, bro. He not nice. We got one more game. Still so a game? You have to stop. <laughs> He's so disrespectful. <laughs> this is why, he this is why I don't stuff. let him get his shit off. This is exactly why. You know what? He's so disrespectful. That's why. He man. got the game pulled up. That's why. 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 <laughs> you gotta stop doing just a laugh. Yeah, we just talk to talk about that. That's guys. how I fell on my no, no, cards. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Nah, keep doing it. Save the best for last. Keep going, man. Let's go. That's what that's what we're saying. That's wild. <laughs> J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Down in Music City. So we're all on the Jets. Perhaps. Maybe. Don't look at me. You already know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm not picking man. I'm, I'm picking man. Good I'm trying to have Man, man, like, man. 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 man, 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 man,
Hey, that was the meme. Hey, you, you got to do it at the same yes. time. Yes, <laughs> nigga. Look at the game one. It's funny in the face. No, I know. Run the ball. <laughs> what the fuck? That was the meme of the week. Why are we still throwing this keep bitch? It, keep it simple. I never, That's your old OC, ain't it? <coughs> yes. Keep it simple. I never, ever thought yes. that I would see that, uh, you know, that line, like, Oh, I just seen someone drop to the knees in Walmart. Like, it happened in real life. That shit was so funny. It's going keep it simple. Yeah, give, give, give me, give so me I the, guess we all give me the, on give the, the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. And that will support See, he always, always, only, only, yeah, I do. He always does a chant, but he's, he's been disrespectful right now. Just because you don't believe us, slow, just man. Just recap <laughs> off. Oh, we couldn't pick his game. <laughs> How about we did it already? <laughs> no. All right. And the scores from last week. At number one, E-Trillionaire, 10-6. Whoa! What? Hey, every dog has his day. <laughs> what? Every dog has his day. Tied for second at 9-7 is the Super Bowl champs. On the left side over here, or your right side, and then <laughs> and at fourth is Hob at cool five hundred eight and eight. That's all it is. Oh, that's a and then that's it was this. at last, at just week one, Dom six and ten. Damn, that's the work. Your your start, bro. Green Bay. Yeah. You have Buffalo, and then you pick the Giants, Chicago, Carolina, Atlanta, Jacksonville. He was the whole time. But he won like Chicago. He won Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Las Vegas. Oh, and then they picked Seattle. Then you went Washington, L.A. I was like, damn. Oh, you yeah. done fucked up. Yeah, Will Levin style. Will Levin style. <laughs> you done fucked no. up. So... Sorry. All right, we're off to a good start. So in close, guys, um, thumbs up, thumbs down on the uh, Super Bowl uh, pick for entertainment this year okay. at halftime. Thumbs up, definitely. Um, I don't, I don't have a problem with the pick. I know usually, you know, they might go, like to go with the hometown. They don't. Uh, they don't. But they ever. Really, they really the don't. I mean, the only time I know it was prolific was in L.A. In LA. When, you know, when Dr. Dre and them uh, came out and, and performed. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm maybe, maybe, I'm quite sure Kendrick Lamar is classy enough to find a way to, to have Little Wayne on the stage. If people, if people want to be there, if you want to be there, um, and then first of all, anybody ask Wayne how he feel? Does he even care? Well, he said last year that yeah, he wanted he to wanted do the Super Bowl. Okay, because he knew that's he why knew it's a big thing because he he put this in the air, so they're like, yeah, what? he knew the Super Bowl was coming to New Orleans the next year. Yeah, so. Little Wayne's definitely big enough to do it, but he also said he had to perform well this year to get it. And I don't think anyone's outperforming Kendrick this year. So, one, that's one reason why Kendrick is on it. And we already, we, you've expressed this multiple times on this broadcast tonight. What is the NFL all about right now? Who's making the most money right now? Who the hottest motherfucker in the world right now? West Coast. Taylor Swift. I'm talking about in the culture. Taylor Swift. They already got. They got Taylor Swift through uh, the regular season. They got her. So <laughs> they don't need yeah, to that. Bag, yeah. that bag they don't need the performance. We got her. Yeah, secure. we got her all year yeah, round. Yeah, all year round. round. That bag is secure. Yeah. All right. So they gonna have Kendrick. They gonna have Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick pop out and show niggas at the Super Bowl. And to Hobbs' point, everybody's making a big deal. Oh, it's in New Orleans. You're supposed to have New Orleans people. The Super Bowl has been in New Orleans multiple times, and y'all never came out and said this shit. Nope. It's just because Lil Wayne says something. Yeah, that part. It's because, one, because of Lil Wayne's interview last year. Two, because of Kendrick Lamar and his beef with Drake and uh, and Lil Wayne's alliance with yeah. Drake. Yeah. So now everybody's in a fucking uproar. Yeah. No pun intended. But to the picture <laughs> goes the spoils, right? Exactly. <laughs> you lost. Exactly. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would And if, think what, if you're cool. saying Wayne didn't lose, yo, your little homie lost. So, um, that's how it goes. And I was talking about this... Uh, to some people, and I broke down all the where all the Super Bowl were. Um, when the Super Bowl was in Miami, did Trick Daddy or Rick Ross or Luke, and, Luke, Luke Uncle Luke, which Apple Bottom nigga, did Flo Rida? Yeah, Flo Rida. You gotta say Flo Rida. You gotta say Flo Rida. When the Super Bowl was in Jacksonville, T Pain or Trina. Anybody, you see what I'm saying? Did, there were no uproar for I ain't see Luda and Outkast in that ATL. But look, but look. It's been, how many times has the Super Bowl been in Atlanta? Future ain't never performed that shit. shit. It was it was it was Maroon Five and Travis Scott. And Travis Scott had the best 
he had the best album of the year, so obviously. And he didn't headline. Niggas was mad he ain't headline with Maroon 5, so that's how this shit go, bro. This is business. It's not personal. They did. When the Super Bowl was in New York, when the Seahawks played the Broncos, do y'all remember who did this? Tattoo show? No. I don't remember. Was it? I'm sure it was Jay-Z. It wasn't Jay-Z. It wasn't Nas. Diddy didn't come out. <laughs> no. Mace, no Cameron. I mean, you from New York. You they, tell me, do you remember any New York artists being on that bill? No. And you it's remember like, anybody? Fab wasn't up there, like, up. I know Jay turned it down. Rocky. He turned it down, but. Even, so when, Prince, even when, when Prince did it, it was in Miami and not Minnesota. Justin Timberlake did it in Minnesota. Minnesota. Justin Timberlake from Memphis. Fast, too, but still, it's been there before. He did. He's he's got <laughs> you just have all this information in your brain. I don't know how you do it, man. I just want because I Cause if the, y'all, the, if the y'all outrage is killing me. Cause, the cause outrage the, it's the outrage, and y'all y'all won't say the real reason why y'all just keep saying because it's in New Orleans and it's Wayne, and we gotta we gotta get flowers to our legend. Yes, Lil Wayne, I have is the second best rapper of all time, personally to me. I don't want to hear no, I don't want no debates about it. But personally to me, Lil Wayne is number two behind Jay Z. So I'm gonna give it there. I love Lil Wayne, but. <coughs> The NFL is going to always follow the money. Kendrick Lamar has literally stole this whole year. And he's he, 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 the biggest win. draw of the year. Right. Him and Cat. They saw what that motherfucker did on the, on that Amazon uh, that Amazon uh, concert. You think that, that the NFL about to turn some money down like that? That shit look crazy. No. Y'all got to be... What? And Motherfucking look. video he dropped did almost fucking 900 million the first day. NFL ain't turning down no money. <laughs> Look, and like, you gotta understand, bro. The Super Bowl is global. This is not a Louisiana, even though it's in Louisiana, it's not a fucking Louisiana event. It's not gonna be only motherfuckers from Louis. It's probably not, it's probably gonna be majority not people from Louisiana at the fucking event. Hey, right. Joe McCoy made that same motherfucking, uh, same point. He, he's like, dog, y'all gotta realize. The people that's complaining about this shit can't even afford a ticket to get to the game. Exactly. So right. what are we talking about? Right. They talking about what if they boo Kendrick? Nigga, I looked up Super Bowl tickets after I seen all the commercials. Nigga, ten thousand. Nigga for a nosebleed. Something about right. Yeah, I'll be watching that at the at the house. I'm nice. in the house. Let's see some house. Yeah, I'm chilling. I don't care if I had this they shit. They selling bro. the boxes or a million dollars. Ten thousand for a tick for nah. Mm-mm. The box is a meal. And look, the funny thing is, so they, the people I feel like, from, I feel like, from Holly Grove, from your block, bro, are not getting into this suit. Right. Right. I feel like these right. niggas, I feel like these That's niggas, these <laughs> niggas just love to complain because Fifty Cent had an event out there. It, it was some, it was some with music and comedy, and Hurricane Chris and all these niggas was mad as fuck. Like, why would you oh, come yeah. to our city and you ain't gonna put no money in our pocket? Like, nigga, this is my event. I have whoever the fuck I want here, and then me having my event here is bringing money to your city. I don't have to put shit in your pocket, nigga. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you look corny as fuck complaining about that shit. Boosie, also one of the people talking about this shit. Master P said, <coughs> said the best thing. He wasn't blowing down on nobody. He just said, Wayne, like y'all said, Wayne, somebody needs from Louisiana needs to be a part of it. He said it very, you know, PC and lighthearted. It was no threatening shit like Birdman. Oh, I'm going to show these niggas. All right, bro. The NFL ain't like, like, get the fuck out of my face. Birdman, sit down, bro. He's going to come. He's going to be at the game like, y'all put some respect on my name. Like my nigga Cat Williams says, y'all oh, niggas gang banging over bacon, nigga? That's what are we doing? Uh, count your money. <coughs> oh, shit. They don't even get paid for that for the show. And I'm mad that niggas was kicking oh, Jay Z back. Like, I was mad niggas was trying to kick Jay Z back in. About man, Nicki shit. Minaj went nuts on that nigga on Twitter. Bro. Like, bro, and he's trying to make it seem like nigga he he I, that's helped Wayne when he was in tax trouble. Birdman ain't do that shit. They ain't got no fucking beef. Like, come on, bro. And it's like Jay Z's not the sole decision maker when it come to that. Like, it's the NFL metrics and all that shit. Like you said. And I could get if it was like a country singer or some shit like that. It's Kendrick, nigga. It's nobody more in the game, more scorching. But that's than this, why it's such an uproar. Like, shut the fuck up. Well, people need to just pay attention. 
I mean, Wayne can come and perform Mona Lisa saying, if they he, want he, to. He can, he can still be a part of the celebration. That would be, that would be so hard. But Wayne don't know the lyrics of Mona Lisa. He don't. He, even, he don't know the lyrics to this shit. And so, yeah, so we just, you know, we gotta get off of it. Yeah. And, um, uh, I got another one for you. Um, it's around 2013, son's first birthday party. Um, there was a Super Bowl going on between the Baltimore Ravens and the uh, San Francisco 49ers. Um, Beyonce performed that night, shut the house down, got the lights turned off. Um, where were all of y'all when that happened? They went over to be followed. Cause and a uh, question, was Wayne hotter then or now? Then. Then. For sure. Easy. For but sure. that's Beyonce. <laughs> Twitter was out. Twitter was definitely out in 2013. Might have been the hottest not, shit in the world. We're not gonna, gonna get no breaks when it come down to her though. Why not? Dude, that's that's his city. Well, that's Juvie city. city. That's Master P City. Beyonce from Houston. When that when, when that when that whole Beyonce group, from Houston. When that Beehive get the swarm and hope you can take the take the battle. Like I said, so it's they, the, you know, if, if this was anybody else, none of them niggas would have said a word. And when you when you if y'all remember Beyonce's performance, right? It was like real black powerish and all that shit. The league is definitely leaning towards that she, demographic. Yeah, she, she kinda so why would you want that one? That one. She oh, that took wasn't the, that one. She yeah, kind of took the realization vibe, but I got you. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah, that was on San Fran. With, uh, still, still the same point. She though. came out with a. Uh, Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Yeah. Still, still same, vibe, still same point. I'd rather have seen. someone like Kendrick performing in the middle of Black History Month for the Super Bowl. Now, you know he gonna bring it. You know what you gonna get out of it. Like you said, we just seen it for the pop-out. You know you know what you paying for. You he brought it, might not he know what brought you're it for away. the announcement video. Yeah. He put thought and time into yeah. that shit. Come so on, it's man. like... You know it's about to be crazy, so right. you know they got top. You know they got top on the phone. You ain't know what I mean? Ain't no round two. I'm ain't ready. No round two. <laughs> ain't no round two. We all excited, man. We get one test for the boat. Mike, we gonna get to see the black hippies. Like it's gonna be fire, bro. Like y'all can be with the cash money and the hot boy. I'm, I'm okay. I'm cool on that. I don't want to see. I know Drake gonna be there. I don't want to see that nigga. Like the nigga lost, so his whole team lost. Kendrick get the Super Bowl. That's how it go. It is what it is. Thumbs up. All right, family, you've been tuned in to the Start and Five podcast. Again, as always, you can follow us wherever you get your podcasts, from Spotify and Apple. Go Don't Buckeyes. forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Start and Five. Like, comment, subscribe, share button. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, your choice. We'll be Start and Five, y'all. Yeah.